to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Searching for a heart that will love him, longing for a child that will give him their all, give it all. He wants it all. the Lord. Let's lift our hands and bless his name. Thank you Jesus. You are faithful. Thank him for the privilege and the opportunity to be blessed tonight. I'd like you to declare and say my heart is open. I know you have something for me tonight. Lord, I know you have something that will change my life. Pray from the depths of your heart and say, let tonight be a time of encounter. Do something in my life, oh God. Let there be an encounter tonight. Let there be an encounter, a genuine spiritual encounter tonight. Let there be an encounter, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please pray from your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. A man of God, Bishop Oyedepo, said, There are days and there are certain days. Hallelujah. This is how people just walk into an anointing, even unprepared every service is not the same hallelujah some of you when saul left his father's house knew that he never knew that that was the last time he would return like that some of you left your homes your room workplaces workplaces and just came for koinonia for some as usual but could it be the night that somebody will encounter an anointing that will change him hallelujah I want to talk a bit about the danger of familiarity. You know, um, Shade said it. Was it Shade? Familiarity removes the life out of anything. Familiarity. When the devil wants to destroy you from receiving and getting blessed, he begins to make you get strings, please, man. He begins to make you feel... Um, unnecessarily familiar there are some of you who are carried away bringing new people and forgetting that what God has started in your life he has not finished yet it's easy to bring the new people and tell them you hold on expect this expect that and give them previews of what can happen but then there is a way your heart can be prepared but I want you to know that Tonight will truly be a night of some of you just come around, joke around, but I know some who have traveled from some places and they are saying, Lord, please let this be an opportunity. Hallelujah. For others, it's koinonia as usual. You may be workers, you may be leaders, but for others, they are saying, Lord, I don't know what it is that you have for me tonight, but I refuse to be too familiar with what you are doing. I recognize what you are doing and I position my spirit to receive. There are some of you outside. It's a big sacrifice to sit outside. But let me tell you something. There's no limit to the power of God. 
you may be out and then god will and then god will do something radical in your life it was outside in the rain had bunker crusade i was standing in the midst of probably tens of thousands of people when the spirit of god located me in a mighty way they were tens of thousands of people who came for a crusade they came to watch the great man of God, Reinhard Bonke. But God knows that I didn't just come to watch. I, I didn't come to watch a crusade. If I wanted a crusade, I can buy the DVDs. I came to encounter an anointing. See, let me tell you. If it's just the message you want, if it's just coin on you as usual, you don't need to come. You can get the teachings. They are available and they are free. But there is something about the atmosphere. This one even the cds may not give you hallelujah something happens when you sit under that atmosphere because angels are moving there are all kinds of things happening it's not so much about the revelation what you might be hearing today you probably would have had it before in another way but if you know the degree of spiritual preparation that goes in for every koinonia service every you will know that God is here to bless you tonight. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down the burdens you For in the sanctuary, God is here. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. The burdens you for in the sanctuary, God is here. For in the sanctuary, God is here. Lord Jesus, we know that you are here have gathered your people that mysterious hand that always brings people in this place you have brought them by your power they have not come to see a man of God I am absolutely nothing without you they have not just come to see a good worship team they have not just come to see organization they have come to encounter you and Lord your people are hungry they are desperate they need something tangible they've been tired of different places they are coming from oh God and they were told that when they come here they will receive something genuine I pray that your people will not be disappointed let this not be one of those evening services that happen around in the name of Jesus we submit ourselves to the power and the influence of the Spirit and we trust you to help us in the name of the Lord. hallelujah hallelujah the lord is showing me a lady please play strings mike can you play strings hallelujah i'm seeing a lady with severe pain if I, right here please if i just call your case you can come out quickly let's save time this is not what we are doing this is not the miracle service but god is just moving in that way i'm seeing a lady with pain abdominal pain very serious sharp pain in fact you woke up this morning it was very very severe you are outside the lady is outside you are outside the lord is showing me the lady outside hallelujah hallelujah for the Lord God Almighty reigns. 
is showing me a lady your hair has been falling this is a very serious issue i'm not just talking a serious hair loss even your colleagues have started noticing please who is that lady come and stand your hair is removing Amen. hallelujah there's someone as soon as you entered this place you had severe chest pain it started becoming sharp till now as i'm talking you're having the pain please come out as i mentioned your case just come out please save time Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy, pray. Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Only Potent Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. There is a lady here, stomach is that your stomach started swelling, started as though it is constipation, very, very serious, and you are beginning to, if it's afraid, if it's a growth there, please, who is that lady? Come out quickly. the presence of god is mighty in this place the power of god is moving already in front here like a river it's like a river we will curse those devils because god is here Thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome.
Spirit of the Living God, we thank you. Of mercy and grace, thou art welcome. Lay your hands on your chest. I want to rebuke that devil. Please, I want you to believe there is authority in this place. There is not just power. There is authority. There is a big difference between authority and power. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your chest. Lord Jesus, thank you for your anointing. In the name of Jesus, I bring these bodies under the influence of this anointing and in the name of Jesus I command the works of darkness to be gone now be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ as I lay my hands on you I want you to believe these are not Joshua Selman's hands these are hands empowered by the power of the Holy Spirit and the authority of the kingdom oh lord i want to know your glory i want to offer the sacrifice out Let her go now. Out. As I pray for you, go back to your seat and check yourself. God is healing you. Out. Now. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed now by the power of the Holy Spirit be healed now by the power of this kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ You wicked spirit, let her go never to return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the authority of the kingdom. Be free now. You wicked spirit, let her go. Now, I challenge you. I see you in the spirit and I command you to go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will remain a threat to Satan as long as God grants us that privilege. We will never allow him find expression in the life of the people. Listen, miracle services are not the only services where God touches people. Any service is a miracle service. Are you getting my point? It's just for organization. That's why you see us do the things that we do. We just set aside one week. But that does not mean God can flow any day, any time, change what he needs to change even if it is for the sake of one person god can interrupt a service and say somebody came hungry we are not religious people to just say it must go this way hallelujah 
it must go God's way. If God wants us to begin to pray for the sick and speak into the life of people, that's what we are going to do. Yeah. Hallelujah. You came praying and let me tell you, God had your prayer and he will only respond according to your prayer, not according to a church program. If there is someone who the spirit of death is upon, for instance, God is not going to allow that happen just because we need to teach a series and allow somebody go back and die. God is too loving. He can interrupt. The Bible says when he, as he thought, the power of God was present to heal. Hallelujah. So when you, important, very, very important. There's, is it a gentleman or a lady that came? You sent me a text. You're coming from somewhere else. Not Zaria. Who's the person? Come quickly. From where, my dear? Abuja. The Lord will visit you. Come, believe. Things will so change in your life from this night, it will surprise you. Pro Prophecy is not just about calling names and numbers. It makes sense. It doesn't make sense if it does not come to pass. The beauty of prophecy is result, not flamboyancy. Are you getting me? I can quote everything and tell you this will happen and it doesn't happen. That's nonsense. You just clap for film show. The power of prophecy is the force that makes it happen. Are you getting my... Let this wicked spirit leave this girl now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm seeing a lot of oppression. Not even just you, your family. Your family, is that true? This is even one of the reasons why you came. Where's your mother? In Oka now. She'll be in Oka. We have to pray, and we have to pray for you. Huh? We have to pray so that the devil will not start, they will not start telling you so and so is happening to your stomach. We need to pray. Are you married? You want to get married? Why are you afraid? Was that no part of your request? God is going to visit you. It doesn't matter what your request is here. We are not as what if it's marriage? Say marriage. Don't sit down. We are, look, let me tell you, this is like a factory. Are you getting my point? This is not a lecture hall. This is where God dethrones principalities and powers over people's lives. Money enters your hand, but it leaves. And this is your family. They suffer this same thing. True. Used to be very rich, but things scatter. Yes. Then it's the same pattern now with us, the grandchildren. We need to pray, all right? And we are going to break that nonsense right here, right now. You believe it? I know that you are coming from Abuja. You met a lot of people, right? Honestly, I tell you, God is in this place, my dear. God is in this place. We say it with all humility. He's not just here, but his authority and his presence is in this place. Jesus, we lift up your name and we break everything that is not of God. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will rise up, you will return, and you will encounter the power of God in unusual ways. Every life siege over your life is broken and we open a new chapter. Everything that is not of God, we take it behind you and we declare that before you becomes like a garden of Eden. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Hallelujah. Be seated. God bless you. Greet one another. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Good evening, everybody. Did you greet yourselves? Please go ahead. Greet someone who is not you. Hallelujah. Two of you had dreams. Um, you saw someone you know chasing you very seriously and you were running please two of those people see when god begins to interrupt me like this can we just flow is that okay mm. 
just play what you play, Mike. You can put it on dual now. Please, those two people, I don't know who you are. You saw someone pursuing you in your dream. This is very serious. This is not. You know them. There's one more person. Sometimes I wish we have all the time to minister to people one by one. Maybe one day we'll, we'll make the BG service a night BG. Would that be fine? Honestly, so we'll take time. It kills my spirit when I see that the, the time is limited. This is why we rush people like this so that we can come up. Because the truth is, there are many people who have issues and you know it's that if God locates you, that will truly be the end of it. It's just that time. Are you getting my point? Time. Time is a big factor. Time is a very big factor. Time is a big factor. Come. This lady, the one chewing your hand, you stand up Come. quickly, quickly. I see an angel of the Lord standing close to you and I'm wondering why he's standing close to you. You are going to be a woman of God, a very powerful woman of God. You will walk in the prophetic very, very powerfully. You will walk in the prophetic. People have not seen anything about you. You will rise in a very powerful way and God is going to give you unusual unction. Father, let your word come through in her life. Give her unction in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, turn not struggle. From today we pray that you will experience the hand of God in very dramatic ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Heavenly Father. Come. Your entire family needs deliverance. Huh? It's not just you. There is a cause of delay in your family. You may not believe. Listen, it is because Jesus is victorious that we can even identify things like this and address it. Are you getting my point? We have to pray. Hmm? If not, you are going to struggle. Are you a student? We need to pray. Huh? If not, you will struggle, not just academically, but everything. I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Let him be free. Out of him now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone and he's tying something like a bead. And this is what I see. The Lord setting the person free. Even in your family. Lord set him free in the name of Jesus Christ. Please come brother. If I don't pray for you. The devil is going to afflict you with sickness. Very serious sickness. You believe that? Are you sick? I need to pray for you because it's going to be something um, it's going to start like ulcer but it's going to get very serious hmm? and we must rebuke it once you and that God wants your heart totally hallelujah let me pray for you father in the name of Jesus just lay your hands on your chest set him free by the mighty hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah usher Madam, come. It's you I need to pray for, not the person you are standing behind. There is a lot going on in your family. There is hardship. Hardship. Because the Lord is showing me a vision. And I'm seeing like somebody is farming on a land. Farming on, on rocky ground. And nothing is burning. We must pray. You believe that? We have to pray. You people have suffered too much in your work. Nothing is working. As you are standing like this. Absolutely not that true nothing from everybody nothing is working even you you are struggling and this is a very very demonic thing you're a worker in this house and you're supposed to experience the hand of god father we love our workers why should they go through this satan i adjure you let her go now she's a worker in this house and she should be an epistle of the vision so that it will not look like we are faking this thing. My God, I pray that she will be free right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Out of her now. That wicked spirit. Let her go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go now. 
I lay my hands and by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let her family go. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release her in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are living never to regain whatever gives you legal access by the blood we command that she is free let the doors be opened in the name of jesus christ doors of increase doors of plenty power by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah come let me pray for you if you are the only one who is prospering and your family members are not experiencing it you will not be happy do you understand it should extend we believe in family salvation here that whatever is happening to you should happen to your loved ones how many of you believe that praise the lord no matter how prosperous you are if your family members are not getting blessed your joy will not be complete hallelujah thank you jesus christ let god visit your phonic thing this demonic thing in your family i curse it now in the name of jesus christ Thank you, Heavenly Father. Please, let's hurry up so we can do this. Let me pray for you. I'm looking at a young lady. I'm seeing an old woman. What is all this? Where are you from? Eh? Enugu. I'm seeing a very old woman. As I'm looking at you, it's not your face that I'm seeing. I'm seeing another person's face and it's an old woman. And if we don't deal with this, it will stop you from getting married. You will be wondering, a very pretty lady moving around. Why? Why? You know, all these kind of things. Hmm? We're going to pray. The devil is a liar. Jesus is Lord. Hmm? Hold my hands and let me pray for you. It's not your fault that you were born in your family, but it's your fault if you remain in that trouble. You must do something about it. Are you getting my point? Many of us keep blaming our parents and all of that. It may not be their fault. They did the best that they know how to do. But now that you know the truth, you must contend for change. Are you getting me? Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this lady be free from everything that is not of God. I set by the now, by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why did she come out? Why did I do? Let me pray for you. The spirit of death. This is death. This is not even sickness. There are families that people keep dying, dying, and they meet a pastor and he says, all right, this is the last one that will happen. Then another one happens and he says, don't worry. Just give thanks in all things. You must deal with it. Once you see fire on the mountain, there's a saying in my language that if you see your neighbor's beard catching fire, don't wait till it catches your own. Find water quickly and soak your own. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. There are things I'll tell you, but I can't tell you here, right? but your relationship with God is very important. It's not just about receiving a miracle from God, but he must have your everything. Hallelujah. You, does it make sense to you what I'm saying? It makes a lot of sense, right? Mm. Father, please visit this lady and visit her family. I separate you from every evil and every wickedness of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ, let these attacks of darkness stop in Jesus' name. Brother, well done let me pray for you you need revelation look at me this is what you are lacking grossly in your life you have desire but desire is not enough in the kingdom you need revelation hallelujah are you getting me this is what you need at this phase so you must contend for light and revelation father thank you in the name of jesus christ I impart upon you the spirit of revelation. Let it come upon you and let it be mighty. You will understand the truths of God's word and may God use you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Who is Janet? Janet. Janet. Ah. Lord, allow us to teach tonight. Oh. Janet. Who is Janet, please? I'm hearing a name, Janet. Janet. You are Janet? Okay. 
your mom. A man should not have a woman's name. Oh, your mother's. Okay. Janet. I'm seeing Janet. Kai, no. There is Janet in this place. Are you Janet? There is. Is it? I hope the person is here. This is how people miss out on their miracles. Janet. Janet. I will pray for you because you have come out, but I'm hearing it in my spirit. Janet. When God refuses, I refuse to because it means that there's something that he wants. The Lord is showing me a lady. Your elder sister was to get married. They, did, they even did introduction. And then something happened and they canceled it. It was a very disappointing experience. Who is that? Please. They even did introduction. The guy came, saw your people. He started doing corner corner and everything just backfired. Please come quickly. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Hold on. There's someone you are writing jam tomorrow, but you've been having dreams seeing yourself in like a primary school or a school. Who is that person? You are writing jam tomorrow. If I don't pray for you, it's going to be failure. You are going to fail the jam. Run, you are wearing blue. You are a lady. You are writing jam tomorrow. If I don't pray for you, you will fail the jam. Who, are you the one? You come. You are great. The devil wants you to fail this jam. And if we don't pray again, this one is not lack of studies. Are you getting my point? This is not lack of studies. You are writing jam too. I will pray for jam people. Don't worry. Jam will pray for you. The devil is in trouble tomorrow. You, but you come, let me pray for you since the word is for you. Look at me. We have to destroy this thing. Huh? What dream did you have? I see myself failing. You see yourself failing again and again. Huh? Don't worry. The Lord is going to visit you. You believe that? Did you read? Mm. Let the angel of God's presence help you. Because this jam sometimes is just the help of God. It's not any long story. You just need God to help you. Regardless of whether you understand what you are shading or not. For the sake of his kingdom. Sometimes you just need to say help. Oh Lord. Help. As simple as that. Praise God. I know some of you are laughing. You think it's a joking matter. That's how God helped some of you. you when you saw your result. Even you. You knew that this was prophecy. It's not any. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. God is working on your blood. This is not even the issue of jam again. God is changing your genotype. Hmm? Is that true? What's your genotype? AA. AA. Your genotype is AA. I'm seeing God changing your genotype. It's not AA. You think it's AA. It's AS. God is changing it to AA. You fall sick. You fall sick consistently. It's not AA. Your genotype is AS. I'm seeing AS and an arrow is drawing to AA. This is what God is changing. You believe that? Because even you, you are surprised why you fall sick. Your bones pain you now. Serious, just like a sick lad. It's just that they've not told you you are SS because this is demonic. Hallelujah. Father, let her pass her jam and change her genotype. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just wait here. I think I'll just pray for jam people generally before we just start the message. Hallelujah. Disappointments for your sisters. Why are you crying? Please, my dear. It's okay. See, no matter what the issue is, I want you to believe that the Lord of heaven is in this place. When God locates you, he will solve your problem. Are you getting what I'm saying? And listen, once God has located one person, you don't need to wait until they call you. Are you getting my point? This is how to tap into prophecy. When God locates one person, you can sit where you are and say, Lord, I receive. Are you getting what I'm saying? Even if it's not for your sister, you can challenge yourself. So you must position yourself to receive. Let me pray for you. Father, what, why are you crying? Look at me. Why exactly are you crying? Let me just ask you. It's too 
church. Your auntie, where is she? Come. I'm so touched. Why is she crying like this? Please, um, it's okay. Hmm? Let's not get... I can be emotional. I won't cry, but... I don't know why. I, I don't cry. This crying thing. I only cry when I'm worshiping God. But every other thing, I don't know why. People are crying and sometimes I'm saying, let these people not think I'm so hardened. I'm trying, but the tears... You know, I just found out that the best way to respond to my emotion is to solve the problems that cause it. Praise God. Jesus Christ is going to... Where's your auntie? She's at home. Where's home? Silver. She's just in silver close by. Why didn't she come? Invite her for miracle service. Will she come? She doesn't come to her. But let's pray for her. Father, please visit her auntie. In the name of Jesus, let that spirit leave your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that family leave. Please, immediately I finish praying for them. If you are writing jam, come out. Let me just pray for you once so that we can. Am I boring you tonight? God is just flowing. And I, I have a very powerful teaching, but I think God just wants to. Some of you have been praying and we've had the word, but God needs to locate some people this night. Please, just let it happen. Let's just let God flow that way. Why are you coming out? What's happening? Hold on, hold on. What's going on? Jam. Okay, just stand where you are. You don't need to go back. Let me just pray for these people. Hallelujah. All we want is you. Take over. Take over. By nothing, nothing else but you. Lord, visit our family in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this plague of witchcraft be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Your sister was disappointed. Oh, go. Yes, sure. What happened? I did the introduction, did everything. Else. I did. There's a reason why I'm asking. God asked me to ask you. That's why not i would just pray for you they did the introduction they did everything and the relationship just ended like that the guy ran away what happened i pray for you in this place in the name of the lord jesus christ ladies may no man just come into your life play games with you make you to involve your parents and then for whatever reason go away i separate you from it in the name of jesus christ Amen that anyone that has planned from day one that he's just coming to play around with your life may my god keep them far from you Amen. in the name of jesus christ some of these things may not even be that the guy is a bad guy is this demonic things that we deal with sometimes are you getting what i'm saying i'll pray for you jesus you brought her out help her be free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. You too. Let me just pray for you very fast. I hope this is not what I'm going to do all through this night. Some of you are already praying. You are saying, God, it won't stop. Oh, he's already close to my... <laughs> Look, and let me tell you something. Truly, let me tell you something about the power of prophecy. You know, the Bible says that upon the throne there were seven eyes and close to the eyes were thrones that means anything you see there is authority to conquer it seven eyes and seven horns once the eye of the lord can locate your situation there is authority to conquer it are you getting my point but then it doesn't just mean that if your case is not mentioned you must force yourself and say no you can receive because the word of God is also prophetic. Hallelujah. Your sister too? Or your auntie? Or you? Huh? Who? Ah. That's a long story. Talk. Oh God, have mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
I wish there was special time. I had time to counsel because some of these things, I can't say them openly, but look at me. There are certain things you think are disadvantages, but they are the mercy and the deliverance of God. That's just what I would tell you. Do you understand parables? Father, have mercy on this lady and bless her in Jesus' name. Don't call everything evil. You need the eye of the spirit to know because some of you, what you call disappointment would have been the best gift of God to you. It's just that it's the future that will make you appreciate it. That's why the Bible says in everything, give thanks. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Let there be breakthrough in this family in the name of Jesus. Where are your people? Because your family needs the hand of God. Hmm? This is not just the issue of prayer for one person. Father, please help this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This evil must stop. Leave the family now. Let the family go. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for the sister. Visit her. Let her marriage be successful. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. The Lord is lifting the yoke over your family and the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you that the morning comes for your family your family has suffered a lot tell them the morning comes in the name of Jesus Christ Thank you. my brother look at me where are you from Kaduna you are from Makodi there is a lot of witchcraft in your family. But Father, I pray tonight that this thing will end in the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be free. Be free. Be free. Hallelujah. Jam. Jam, I'm very serious. Please, don't come here joking. Come here with every sense of seriousness as if you're already writing the exam. Jam, come out. It will take the power of God for some of you. All of you who are sitting, stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. Let's pray in tongues all over this place. We need miracles. Jam, we have to break this thing right now. I'm angry in my spirit because many of these people are intelligent. They are blessed. They are not dull. Let me tell you, they are not dull. This is just the hand of Satan. Jam. If there's no space, just stand where you are and begin to pray in tongues. Father, we need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. They are believers. They love the Lord. We need your mercy tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look at me. I started praying for jam people from Monday. The number of people who came for counseling just to be prayed for for jam. I, it troubled my spirit and I said Lord why are people failing jam like this is it because all of I know some of you didn't read you are just been playing around but there are people who have been serious and almost all the people I prayed for for jam I had to cast out devils from them and then it, it dawned on me that there are some people who are suffering innocently hallelujah and we need to pray this night because some of you, the truth is, the way you are standing now, you are not even ready for the jam. 
Let's just tell the truth and shame the devil. So, the mercy of God can take you through where you would not even be able to. Do you believe in the mercy of God? Because that's the only prayer I want to pray for you now. The mercy of God is not just for sinners. Hallelujah. Some of you, this is a destiny issue for you because you've written jam four times, five times, six graduated, you are still graduated, you are still graduated, you are still there. We need to take it seriously. Hallelujah. And to pray. So I'm going to pray for you. Lift your hands. If it's a demonic thing, that devil must go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Father, this is what you have made this house become. A place of breakthrough. And in the name of Jesus, I pray. Listen, lift your hands, all of you. I'll first rebuke the power that is responsible for stopping some of you. As I pray, you will know that for some of you, it's demonic forces that have been stopping you. Jesus, we lift up your name. 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 Now I'm going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every force of darkness tying anyone's academics here. By the power of the Lord resident in this house, I command those devils of darkness, release God's people now. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost, every act of divination, every spirit that wants to make you fail jam, in the name of Jesus, I curse it. I curse it out of them now. Out of them now. Out of them now. For those of you standing for your loved ones, I command that power to leave you. That power that makes you stand in the exam hall and you blank out until you fail. I challenge it right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. hallelujah lord jesus i pray may the angel of the lord that came to give daniel understanding may that angel of the lord go with you as you write your job in the name of jesus christ i release angels now I release angels from the throne of mercy. May they go with you as you shed. May they go with you. I release angels in the name of Jesus. I release angels as you write where you do not know. May they still guide you in the name of Jesus. Where your strength fails, may the strength of Elohim take you through. In the name of Jesus Christ, your resort will not be withheld. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit of fear in this place, fear of repetition of what happened last year, I command that spirit of fear go, 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 go. I cause fear, go, go, out now, go. Let boldness come upon you. Let boldness, every devil that says you cannot do it, fear out of them. Out of them. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Fear is banished from your life. Let the heart of a lion be given to you. You will go and you will succeed. You will go and you will prosper. You will go and you will excel. I command this devil. I see a spirit in this lady. is already positioned to destroy her tomorrow. I command out. Out. Now. Out. Now. 
she must pass the job i command you to leave in the name of jesus out now in the name of jesus jesus we lift up your name bring her hallelujah let me tell you there are some of you if not for this night's prayer you would still fail the jam again and you have to wait another year but there is the power of prophecy many of you don't know the power of prophecy it comes see listen listen you can see what is happening right now all these people have been suffering whereas they are preparing the kingdom of darkness is also preparing be free to excel in the name of the lord jesus christ out of her now you are a wicked spirit i know this lady personally and i know how much she has struggled i know how much she studies i had to pay for her lesson personally to make sure that she makes it now she's going to write jam tomorrow this lady is very diligent and hardworking. listen see let me tell you something before you start accusing people when you don't understand what is happening in their life keep quiet are you listening to me because there are people who need the grace of god i know that there are people who are violating principles but where they have tried and done their best and nothing is working that's when god steps in hallelujah all of you who are writing jam say in the name of jesus or if you are standing in for someone i receive courage i receive wisdom i receive an anointing to excel tomorrow i go with the backing of heaven i write my jam with the backing of heaven i refuse to fear i will excel in the name of jesus father i pray for your people may they meet above their cutoff point by far in the name of jesus you will not only pass the jam it will give you admission i prophesy it if i be a servant of god there are others you wrote it and passed jam but you didn't get admission with it not only will you write the jam may my god give you admission where men sit down and meet to frustrate you may the hand that the person that hand that can change seasons may it change your results for good in the name of jesus christ and i announce to every power you have no right over god's people i put a wall of fire over their lives as they write jam you will write it under an open heavens in the name of jesus christ you will write it under an open heavens god bless you please go back rejoicing thank you jesus christ ah my spirit is already charged goodness Spirit is boiling with anger right now. All those who are trusting God for jobs, come out and stand here. Empre te que te te bacatabala, lembre do sombre que te, e proche que te te ba, re que te re que ba, rapos compari que te, lente pros compati cata, ele que te pros cosi ba 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 ba. Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. I tell you my spirit is fired up tonight i don't know what kind of anointing came upon me this stage but i'm angry my spirit tonight 
the Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. It said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Look at the number of people trusting God for jobs. There's got to be a way of helping God's people. Are you getting my point? There, there has to be a spiritual way of helping God's people. Let me tell you something. If we cannot help God's people, there is no reason why we should get people born again to leave the traditional thing they are doing and come into Christianity. Are you getting my point? We have no right to stop somebody from, to insult somebody who is going to a shrine if you come for a meeting like koinonia and god cannot help you i came i prepared a nice message to come and teach but my spirit is fired up because you see this is the real problem that is bringing many of us and if we don't resolve this thing you can keep hearing the word but the truth is you will celebrate testimonies but when it happens in your life there's no other message that is stronger than that hallelujah please lift your hands we need to dethrone some wicked spirits in this place please follow me instrumentalist hallelujah we're going to pray the bible talks of these four horns that have lifted up themselves against judah some of you graduated with excellent results you have served but your result is like a piece of paper we need to break that power let me tell you it is not by power i taught it in the message give me this mountain there is a lot more there is a lot more please lift your hands there are two things i'm going to do i'm going to rebuke this spirit for many of you there are horns in your families that have said nobody will rise you've gone to school but it's as if you are still in primary school even if you are outside no problem just hang on there with faith god is doing a very prophetic thing tonight i'm about to rebuke these powers and as i take authority over them the fire of god is going to move across these people standing in a very strong way and we are going to break the hand of the devil you will see a release of miracle jobs that will surprise you my god i thank you i give you all the praise in the name of jesus lift your hands father i pray right now by the power of the holy spirit at the count of three let every devil and every enchantment every act of divination responsible for joblessness my god at the count of three may your fire move through and tear down altars right now one two three touch now 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 i cause powers i cause powers i cause powers shake it help them ushers i cause powers in the name of jesus i set them on fire let the fire of god move across everywhere and every spirit that is responsible for joblessness in the name that is above all names we set it on fire now we set it on fire now hallelujah years ago i had a story there was someone who wanted to go to nda and there is a certain height that they take and the person was too short so they told the person we cannot take you so the news got to the emir when the news got to the emir he sent the guy with a message he said go and tell the people that the emir has added his height and they took him did you hear that word he said go and tell them that the emir added the height of the short person we are going to pray i don't want to know what the deficiency is are you getting my point 
in the name that is a please believe please believe see some of you are already used to intellect so much you don't know the power of the spiritual otherwise you will struggle forever and you will find out that things are not changing because some of you are standing for your loved ones they have been praying praying in the name of jesus i command doors of miracle jobs right now i command doors of miracle jobs right now everywhere you have dropped your cv i move the angels of the lord to begin to bring wherever they have hidden it i pray let the book of remembrance be opened over you tonight in the name of the lord jesus for those of you who maybe because of the quality of your certificate humanly speaking you may not get a job my god because of the anointing he has put in your life let that anointing qualify you in the mighty name of jesus christ may that anointing qualify you in the mighty name of jesus christ whoever has vowed that you will not live to be gainfully employed in the name that is above all names we arrest those powers this night hallelujah for those of you who are working but the work you are doing is like slavery in jesus name we relocate you from that job to something of dignity we relocate you from that job to something of dignity hallelujah please go back to your seat rejoicing go and submit your cvs go and apply knowing that you have an anointing i don't think we are wasting our time this night god is visiting issues and i'm very happy about it hallelujah The next set of people the Lord is ministering that I call whether you or someone in your family that has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb please march out here quickly this fruit of the womb issue even if you come out ten times tonight don't worry Greatly to be praised, greatly to be praised, Father you reign, great are you Lord, greatly to be praised, greatly to be praised, Father you reign, great are you Lord, greatly to be praised. honestly i really feel sad in my spirit for those who could not make it tonight for koinonia because what god is doing in this place i know that there is an unusual anointing in this place hallelujah listen listen those of you standing please listen don't get too used to just coming out and going back listen to me please my bible tells me that children are a heritage from the lord are you getting me children are not just the byproduct of a man meeting with his wife children are a heritage from the lord let me tell you the, something about the mystery of barrenness look up please jesus looked at a tree what did he do to the tree to be barren that means what is responsible for barrenness is that true jesus gave us an example of how anything can be made barren he looked at the tree he didn't advise the tree he caused the tree so how do you reverse barrenness are you listening to me jesus looked at a tree that was bearing at least it had leaves 
Are you getting my point? And he caused it. How did he cause it? By making pronouncements. Did he rub charcoal on the tree? He just made pronouncements. Listen. Job said that he shall deliver you from the scourging tongues of men. You know what the scourging tongues of men? The scourging tongues of men are wicked pronouncements. We live in a generation where we do not know the power of words. We confess, we talk it, we run around. But when a word is spoken with an anointing, whether it is demonic or of God, the only remedy is if revelation has shielded you from its effect. Otherwise, it will hit you. Now listen. I want to explain to you the mystery of this devilish thing we call fibroid. Because there are only about four or five things that make people not to be able to give birth. They now tell the man he's impotent, low sperm count, or whatever kind of medical terminology. Huh? And then for the lady, they now say she's barring fibroid, maybe some cysts or a womb, something has happened. And now, please, if you're a doctor here, don't, don't, I'm not, I'm not against you. Don't be offended. I'm just telling you that there is a higher spiritual intelligence. Are you getting my point? Because this is purely spiritual. Look at me. A lot of people take in. Most people, you see, I counsel people all the time. It's not what I read in a book. It's what I have seen. Hallelujah. The woman takes in. Huh? And then, when she takes in, you will find out that she will lie down quietly to sleep and she will have a dream, oftentimes. And another man will come and sleep with her or another woman or something will happen. She will wake up in the morning with blood. She's lost the child. Or all kinds of demonic, satanic things. But the Bible says, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance. That means there are handwritings and there are ordinances. But the Bible says, blotting it out. Hallelujah. Do you believe the prayer we are going to pray tonight? Because we are going to deal with this thing. There are some, the money they have spent just to get one child is running into millions. They've done everything they can do. But the God that gives children. If a herbalist by the riverside, brothers and sisters, can bath somebody and give the person a child, we have no right to be telling believers to stop going to herbalists if God cannot give children. Children are a heritage from the Lord. Lift your hands. I know there are, there are only a few of you here that are standing for yourself. Most of you are standing for your loved ones. And God opened the womb of Hannah. And God opened the womb of Rachel. And God opened the womb of Leah. Whether for yourself or for the person you are standing for. I like you to say after me in the name of Jesus. I'm a child of God. And I declare. That my womb is open. Open to receive. And open to give birth normally. In the name of Jesus. Now lift your hands. You'll be surprised at what will happen here now. Then you will know that nothing just happens. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. My God, you are the one doing this. I don't even know what I'm doing. You need to step in for families. We can't keep preaching every week and not have people receive. Lift your hands, please. There are lots of chains that will be broken right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Whether for yourself or those you are standing, at the count of four, just four counts. Because I see angels with swords. Lord, let the chains be broken. One, two, three, four. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. I cause barrenness. I cause it. I cause it. I command a blessing. Every barren womb receive in the name of Jesus. Every barren womb 
be opened in the name of Jesus. Everyone called barren. All the covenants and diabolisms that have blocked their wombs. We command miracle children. We command miracle babies. I come against the spirit of miscarriage. In the name of Jesus Christ. I come against the spirit of miscarriage. Every fibroid in every womb. I curse you. You will pass out now. Everyone carrying any growth, any tumor, any cyst. In the name of Jesus. Whether for you or your loved ones. I curse it. Fibroids go. Fibroids go. Without surgery. Fibroids go. In the name of Jesus Christ. any medical complication associated with this barrenness we change it now for those who do not have wombs we don't want to know what happened that the wombs were lost this night we give them new wombs every damaged womb we are not praying for healing we create a new one by the word of God that created the heavens and the earth that nine months from now there will be celebration of miracle children i prophesy it i decree it let the power of god bring it to pass hallelujah god bless you please go back to your seat rejoicing thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah now i'm led to pray listen this is a special prayer and please don't be emotional about it there are certain people here you're having acute academic challenges it's not because you are dumb your own has become a serious issue you know you need prayers march out quickly march out quickly if you are ashamed sit down on your seats here there are people who are serious you came here tonight your results were released for some of you and you know that your academics is in a state of emergency come out here let's deal with this thing once and for all can you play strings We refuse to believe that you are dull. The devil is a liar. Please come quickly. Find your way. Just come here. Let's save time. Goodness. Pass eight. If this is all we do today, no problem. Hallelujah. If this is all we do today, no problem. Next week is a powerful communion service. We'll be having communion and I'll be laying hands on everybody. Everybody who comes. I'm going to be laying hands on everybody praying in tongues and speaking hallelujah i'm going to be sharing a powerful revelation on the mystery of the blood hallelujah it's going to be a powerful communion service we'll be serving communion and it will be an anointing service again i'm going to lay hands on everybody hallelujah things must change we are going to force things to change hallelujah Please, if you can find your way, come in. I, I want to see you, but if you cannot, no problem. We need to rebuke academic issues. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you something. Not everyone you see struggling academically is struggling because they are not serious out of him now come out i hear the chains falling falling oh, i hear the chains falling you must let him go you are a wicked spirit i hear the chains falling see that power must let you go this night that power must let you go this night. Hallelujah. 
how many of you have had so many people telling you i was the best student in my secondary school i was very good some of you here as you are standing you cannot even believe that you are the one going through what you are going because if you tell people they will not believe you were exceptional people but as soon as you stepped in something happened some of you literally during exam this thing they call exam fever and people laugh about it they've even given it a name exam fever it's a wicked and demonic thing what is exam fever it's not because of tension you wrote wayek you wrote jam you entered the university see the the reason can i tell you something listen the reason why many people are suffering like this is because there is no platform to help them explain what they are going through so they just keep quiet they go to church on sunday and they rejoice they go to church weekdays they rejoice but the truth is this see my teaching tonight was to teach us on loving god more but the sincere truth is these are the worries that are stopping us from being passionate about god is that true it's not enough to just say love god he said how can we sing the lord's song in a strange land take us back to our land and we'll sing the lord's song how can we sing the lord's song in a strange land it's very difficult hallelujah there are some of you right here you are the only ones in your family that are in school and the devil wants to make sure that he kicks you out by all means it's because she's part of that word that i just said that's why hallelujah there are some of you they are saying if you don't do well you will just go and get married because this is your thing is like you are not moving anywhere marriage is not a quick way of escaping it's not escapism hallelujah i'm going to pray for you that a hand will come upon you and oh, see the bible says that jesus opened up their understanding that means it can be locked are you getting my point jesus opened up their understanding so that they may understand the scriptures you are not dull some of you have even believed it jesus died to make sure that you excel are you hearing what i'm saying and i don't care what your cgpa is right now even if you have been withdrawn i want you to know that there is hope for you many preachers may not tell you this they will just criticize and say this you are an embarrassment to redemption you are not an embarrassment to redemption it's because of you redemption happened are you hearing what i'm saying and right now i want to prophesy and speak over your life lift your hands please in one minute talk to the lord and say lord i've been struggling with this thing now you have located me please solve this problem please pray some of you are absolutely intelligent we refuse to believe that you are dull kick away that thing i don't care what your results have said talk to the lord from the depths of your heart some of you have refused to sleep for weeks this is what has tied you down hallelujah now lift your hands let me pray of course there are spirits that are responsible some of you listen what you need is to get serious as simple as that for some of you that's all you need you don't need any deliverance you just need to obey the principles of diligence see yet a man diligent you are not diligent you need to leave wrong associations and find godly people who are doing well some of you what you need is humility you are not doing well and you are very arrogant you won't humble yourself and meet the people who can help you in this kingdom you must be humble are you getting me for some of you is inferiority complex because you went to a secondary school where you use stone 
and you, you sat down and the blackboard somebody holds it so what so what about that and you have allowed the society to make you feel you are nobody i can't speak english very well i'm not as fine as they are other people attended queen's college and us we attended school that we are the people that were building the school as we're attending the lecture <laughs> so you feel discouraged no tonight i cancel that pronouncement over your life lift your hands let me pray and rebuke those spirits now thank you jesus please help me with the symbol at the count of three i'm going to pray goodness i'm telling you the fire of god is going to come on a very in a very mighty way lord jesus every power holding your academics at the count of three i set them on fire one two three take it now leave them i command those powers be taken from your academics i rebuke those spirits of failure interiority i set them on fire on fire now on fire now by the power of the holy ghost i set those spirits on fire let those people go let those people go i command that you excel i prophesy that you excel everyone on probation we take you out of probation tonight in the name of jesus those who have been withdrawn we pray that they will accept you in another department and you will excel though we've been endorsed for a night i prophesy to you joy comes joy comes with the morning i prophesy to you he said is there hope for a tree though it be cut off at the scent of water this night i command every academic dry pole come alive come alive come alive come alive every spell every divination over your academics i set you free now in the name of jesus whoever has made pronouncement over your life that you will not excel i cause that prophecy i cause that word i bless you i bless you prosper i bless you i bless you in the name of jesus let the blessing cause you to prosper hallelujah anyone called god anyone called god there's nobody that god created that is god anyone called god i change that testimony tonight in the name of jesus hallelujah there are some of you here you are like wounded soldiers but we bring you the bomb that is in Gilead tonight others may have insulted you and made it look like nothing good can come out of your life but I prophesy to you you can rise again are you hearing me listen some of you are starting afresh they have laughed at you but start the hand of God will go with you in no time you will pursue you will overtake and that which has been prophesied over your life will come to pass everyone who has scorned you and pushed you and ridiculed you may they see you in your glory may they see you in your glory and when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like them that dream and our hearts were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the lord has done great things for us he said the lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity oh god like the streams of the negative lord i pray you turn around situations here tonight turn around situations oh god there are some of you this is your last session to do well in that department and if you don't do well they may withdraw you i pray by the mercies of the god of david 
oh god remember those you died for let a book of remembrance be open tonight may you rise miraculously out of probation hear me and anyone here who has been unjustly treated that the sincere truth is that your result now you are holding what is not your own may the lord of sabaoth the one who avenges for men may that god avenge for you that anyone who has victimized you because of your christian integrity and you are suffering today because of your integrity let the lord of sabaoth arise in the name of jesus christ thank you for lifting thank you for lifting please go back to your seat thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting God is really dealing with issues tonight. Please, I'd like you to just settle down. I'm just, don't mind me. If you're coming here for the first time tonight, please just let us do our mad things the way we are doing it. Hallelujah. How many of you agree that God is visiting issues tonight? Whatever prayer you prayed this week, God had you. Maybe it's because the prayer band people are doing retreat tomorrow. They have shaken the heavens. Mega. People have prayed their lives and they have said enough is enough. I just came and mounted the stage and God said, No way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to pray for a special set of people right now. Um, there are families. Please, can you hear me outside? Can you hear me say amen? Okay, God bless you. Thank you. There are families here that have one or two people that are as stubborn as anything. How many of you know what I mean? I don't just mean rebellious. You have some people that even the community around you is tired of. Parents drag their children and bring them for counseling. Once I see a mother enter and I see a son following, I know that this son has caused headache. Are you getting me? The church is the light of every city. If for now, we may not be able to build boreholes and the rest, we can rehabilitate these stubborn children. That's a, st a place to start. There are testimonies in this place of children or people who came and were as stubborn as anything from those who are thieves. Huh? It's not just guys, guys and ladies. Some of you, you are here, as I mentioned the case, don't just stand for somebody. You know that there's this spirit in you. It's called the spirit of rebellion. There are some of you who still, no matter what happened, listen, we are a family tonight. Koinonia is not where everybody says, tell them or point accusing fingers. Everybody has something he's trusting God to bring him out of. Are you getting my point? So this is a family in this place tonight. There are people who have struggled with this rebellious spirit. Some of you even beat up your loved ones. You are a lady, but when that thing comes upon you, you can even beat somebody as, as, as big as Kenny or Shedrach. And then later you just cool down. You'll say, what happened? You say, they made me angry. You need deliverance, quickly. Let me just tell you. Praise God. Now, don't get, when I talk of deliverance, I'm not necessarily talking of turning your head. You need a separation between you and that spirit. Let's define what we call deliverance here. So that you don't just think, I mean, go and fast for 12 days, do this. Uh -uh. What is happening? Every time the word comes, is able to deliver. Hallelujah. 
So whether you are standing for your loved ones or for yourself, there are some of our brothers here, you, you love God or at least you have an interest for the things of the kingdom. But this rebellious spirit, even you, you cannot explain. Together with those of you who are involved in smoking and drinking, this is a strange night. Praise God. We are not just going to do an altar call secretly between you and God. I'm going to pray. This is not an altar call. This is a call to say, Lord, I'm tired. I can't keep hiding this thing. Praise God. Are you getting my point? Please come out quickly. Well, come out quickly. Come and stand. If you are standing for yourself, stand in front and start praying. Start praying and saying, Lord, enough is enough. Don't let anybody laugh at you. God is changing you. Please stand. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is a factory where God is building people. And all of you who are sitting, please be praying in tongues. Everybody sitting, begin to pray in tongues. Begin to pray in tongues. Let's set this atmosphere on fire. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Forget about who is looking at you. Forget about who is looking at you. Hallelujah. 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 There are some of you who are standing in for yourselves. There's no reason to be afraid or ashamed. For those ones, I'm going to hold your hands and I'm going to pray for you. And then we'll prophesy for all the rest. Please, if you know that you have seen this thing is in your own life, not that of your brother, whether you're a guy or lady, please move forward here. Come and stand and let me pray for you. If you are ashamed, please go back. We are very serious. Even with all this encouragement, you don't see any. Just stay back, please. These are things we are dealing with. This is spiritual rehabilitation so that your Christianity will be authentic. It may not be your fault. Hallelujah. 95% of these so-called stubborn or rebellious people, every time I talk with them, some of them begin to cry. And they tell me in all sincerity, I don't like it. Are you getting me? There are ladies here, weak. There is no weak. You don't follow a man to sleep with him. You are born again. You even pray in tongues. People have told you, it's all right, you are the righteousness of God. But you know that that theology is not, it's not, it's true that you are the righteousness of God. But something is happening in your life that is negating that. And it must be dealt with. There are some of our brothers, you love God some of you still as anointed as you are once you just sit down a spirit tells you exactly where the place is and you go and carry it they give them every kind of scientific name i don't care what the name is it must bow this night are you getting what i'm saying when i finish then i'll prophesy over everybody everybody must go home with something this night in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah now those of you standing in front for our time i'll pray with you very quickly i'm not going to ask you what the issue is but i want you to believe listen there are some of you your own issue is money once you see money hi you don't it's like an anointing comes on you once you see money, the show born again is out of the way. Please, I want you to know if nobody has told you that it's a serious issue. That's what has stopped some of you from getting married. You have vowed that if the guy is not established and a millionaire, he should back to sender. You keep saying all those things and you are laughing about it. If you've been laughing about it, let me challenge you. You better hear what I'm saying and take it as the voice of God. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with God blessing you with a millionaire. But everybody starts somewhere. It's only the grave that you start digging from the top. Every other thing you start from under. Hallelujah. I'm going to agree with you. And those spirits will leave you. 
you will go back home a changed person and you will find out that those laws see do you know them listen let me tell you you are truly delivered if the urge to do what you are doing has left you if you are still enduring and using willpower you need prayers are you getting me there are men who are not sleeping with ladies but they cannot look at a fine lady like this and go back home safely that one look it will take one week recovery of one week you will reboot your spiritual life again you need prayers don't let anybody tell you it's normal everybody's like that then what is the purpose of the power of the holy spirit if we are not faking this thing and we believe the power of god is real something can happen to you are you getting my point or you are not stealing you've not carried it it's just that opportunity has not presented itself yet but once you are still struggling with the urge for something you need prayers as simple as that never convince yourself that everything is over yet once you find out that there is something still pushing you you get up and you know that you just want to go to the man's house he just calls you and says ah I'm in Kano, close to you here. Can you come? Just take a cab, I'll pay. And you are just thinking, should I go? Should I not go? If I go, I'm coming back with nothing less than 50,000. If I don't go, I'm struggling this weekend. But I've had a message. And while you are listening, God will remind you of one koinonia message. And you will hear me with my big mouth lashing this thing again and again. And God will say, choose. Choose by yourself. Ladies, if you cannot look at a man and tell him, I stand for Jesus and I will hold on to my Christian integrity, you need prayers and revelation. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm telling you this from the depths of my heart. This is not condemnation. I'm helping you. Jesus, we thank you. Those of you sitting, stretch your hands towards them. Let me pray quickly for the people in front. Somebody help me. I'll just pray for them very quickly very quickly once I pray. as I lay my hands on you just begin to confess that you are free free go leave her now smokers make sure you join them i'm not going to ask you whether whatever you are smoking indian ham benelin we we everything join them i don't care what it is once you are smoking something you need prayers i'm serious about it please i don't care whether this is your first time or you are a pastor there's nothing to be ashamed of once you have this addiction of drunkenness and smoking join them is this spirit of rebellion? Go ahead, worship him. Help me. I won't go back. I won't go back. Out! 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 Come on!
of Jesus Christ I set you free are standing for somebody i'm going to pray generally just pray for those who are standing for themselves just be patient i will speak over your life we need salvation for listen if koinonia is here and at least samaru is not we can build borehole for people but if the crime rates does not reduce if there are still bad people around we are hypocrites we are just doing jamboree and doing church are you getting me but if the families in the days of John G. Lake, Spokane was the neatest and cleanest and healthiest city in the whole world. Because they were envoys. This is what apostolic reformation is all about. It's not just speaking grammar. That you left your home a thief and you came back a prophet and apostle. Something must happen to your loved ones. Wait and see. After this prayer, some of them will follow you for miracle service. Those who have vowed that they won't come, you will see them coming because they tried all their rehabilitation. They took your name to prophets. Nothing happened. Hallelujah. Listen, I have a very serious word of advice. Maybe it's because you've never had a preacher say it. But let me say some things very clear sex outside marriage is sin everybody say noted so that you are never confused again that maybe they didn't say it or they said it i'm taking this issue very seriously sex outside marriage of any kind for whatever reason is sin forget about your past are you getting what i'm saying i'm not condemning you past is past Number two, stealing money from people, your loved ones and people around in the name of playing tricks and pranks brings a cost to your life. I don't care what revelation of redemption you have. You keep stealing willfully and consciously and see what happens because the scriptures cannot be broken. Are you getting what I'm saying? Brothers, we we. Benelin, what's the name of that other thing? Codeine. What again? Huh? These people made these drugs as a way of adding value to humanity. And these wicked spirits started working in people. You ask them a simple question. One plus one, they cannot answer. But they know which drug can take you high. 
that spiritual. Are you getting me? A time will come we are going to organize a service and bring these people. And you will see the power of God setting these people free. There's no need just talking. At, they are the ones stealing around. And if we really want the crime rate to reduce and we want to them to stop raping our ladies in the night and doing all kinds of things they must be delivered this is not just the issue of police station this is the issue of the power of god then the church will have an influence with government because they will know that it's not just bible study on sunday but there is what we call apostolic reformation there is enough power to help anybody who desires to be helped no matter how stubborn they are hallelujah praise god come please take a powerful worship sam just take a powerful worship as i pray for these people how many people are left here all right let me if i pray for you please just step back so that i just finish up with these people very quickly thank you jesus christ i don't care what the issue has been if you are in a relationship with a married man as soon as we are sharing the grace send him a text hello ladies if you are in a relationship with any man that is married and has a wife, send him a text. Tell him a man of God spoke to you and now your eyes are open. Don't insult him. Say, I have gotten the truth. I love you. Whatever is not working with your wife, I invite you for koinonia. God will solve it. Leave their marriage so God can give you your own. When you enter and destroy another man's marriage, I'm saying it now. Somebody must say this thing. You are not a counselor. Say the man says he's not satisfied with his wife. They need prayers. They don't need you. You are coming in now as what? A well-wisher? Don't take anybody's wife. The same thing with men. Don't take anybody's woman. Because you have money. And then you think you are married. You are a big boy. And this, let's stop these things. Somebody has got to talk. Hallelujah so that god can now bless you the bible says if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and will heal their will, will forgive their sins and heal their land hallelujah sam please any song Set you free.
loved one in your house that is giving everybody headache from stealing to prostitution hallelujah there are some they won't go to school they won't do anything but they can cause trouble to everyone it's not normal don't hate them stop hating them now you have spiritual intelligence to know that there are spirits that operate trying to hate them and just beat and box them will not solve the problem you can even call police to come and flog them they can jail them for one week they will come out and repeat the same thing but you try the power of god and see what will happen lift your hands let me pray for you father this is one of the reasons why you set up this platform and in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let there be deliverance and salvation to those ones in the name of jesus i declare that beginning from tonight may the lord begin to convict their hearts may they be born again and mightily used by god i prophesy that they will be born again and mightily used by god we choose to see the goal that is in them we choose to see the great destiny we declare that their lives are not useless no matter how much they have wasted their life my god gives them another chance in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now i've prayed for them on your own path as much as you can talk to them listen it's not just to bring them for koinonia you are anointed you have been using cane to flog them one day get angry in your spirit and speak to that spirit and you watch what will happen in your house you will see the drama of the power of god see this is why some of our parents or some loved ones do not believe that your coming for koinonia is blessing you if all you are taking back is koinonia messages they will be blessed but they need to see an evidence in your life that something is working hallelujah god bless you please go back to your seat quickly one last category and we are done for tonight goodness please don't miss next week's communion service i already sense that god is doing very 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 mighty things hallelujah hallelujah please i don't want you to just come out emotionally hallelujah whether you are inside or outside if you run a business if you have a business whether it's a family business or it's your own i'm not saying if you are thinking of an idea or if you are just doing something small around you know that whether it's a family business whatever it is from poultry to whatever and you think that you want to see the hand of god in your business and that of your family members please i'm begging you let's save time hallelujah if you belong to that category you know that you just need the touch of god i want you to come out and stand here trusting trusting that god will do something please the sound Now, while they come, I want to encourage everyone here. Please listen, inside and outside. While you are waiting for jobs and other things, especially for the guys, I want to challenge every one of you here. Hallelujah. Just stand. I'm going to pray for you. Please take this very seriously. Something will happen to you. But I want you to listen. Those of you who are not doing anything, I'm challenging you tonight. You can't keep sitting down and waiting for a job. Brothers and sisters, the sincere truth is that in the world that we live today, just having one stream of income of your job will not do you good. I hope you know that. Praise the Lord. I don't care even if it is 200,000 per month you are receiving. It will not be enough. 
it may be enough for you now because you are stingy and greedy and you are doing everything for yourself let children come how much is the school fees of one child a very good school good school huh? over hundred thousand plus you can imagine now you have been shouting you are training your children with 150 and you are collecting hundred thousand your entire life till you die till high blood pressure kills you will be on deficit but you need you is it doesn't just mean to jump into things foolishly here and there but let me tell you listen listen you must get up and do something the man with one talent sat down for somebody in this place this is the message god is telling you if you if you are afraid of doing business you can start a poultry at least what is wrong with three or four of you listen i'm very serious just just stop this let me press this thing down praise god what is wrong with three or four of you bringing 50 50 thousand naira together huh and buying one small golf and getting somebody honest to be putting it on the road for you you bought a phone of seventy thousand naira that's your destiny there you are holding it on your hand and moving around are you getting what i'm saying I don't just want to pray and chorus this like music. Some of us are not doing anything about our lives. You must get up. There are ladies here. I challenge one of our ladies. She came to me and I said, you are good. What can you do? She said, I can bake. I said, bake what? She said, cupcakes. I said, what has stopped you from baking cupcakes? Five or ten. Package it very well. Give it a beautiful name. You think people won't buy it? You will sit down and be thinking about the idea and then somebody will do it and you'll be biting your finger. Not taking a risk is a greater risk. Some of you are afraid. What if my money goes? That you kept it. Are you not eating the money? The money is still going. Praise the Lord. Seek advice. Seek advice. We teach on finances to be able to help us. I don't believe in people getting anointed alone and remaining poor and broke. And now is the time to start. Start and fail honorably. Fail honorably and do it again. It's better than sitting down. Or God Jordan is here. Or Jordan, wave your hand. Or God Jordan is here. I knew when he started his bookstore. The room was so small. It was just like this little place. But today God has honored him. He's already making modalities to enter partnership with people like Evangel and all of these people going to China to bring in books. He started small. My brother, where is this gentleman? This guy that made tomato. Wave your hand now. This gentleman came to me for counseling, I remember. And he told me. I said, what, what can you do? He said, I can do irrigation tomato or something. And he did it. Within a month or two, this guy brought a black leather full of very heavy, big, big tomatoes. But someone was still sitting down there. There is something you can do. Say, I will do something. Say it. Some of you brothers, you are sitting there. The truth is there's something small in the account. Maybe 20,000. Maybe 10,000. If you start a small recharge card, this thing. Challenge yourself. Don't let Nigerians with their, with their fear come and meet you and tell you this and that. If you are afraid of moving forward, you will be broke in this life. Let me tell you the truth. Brothers, challenge yourself. God is speaking to you this night. I'm not saying just get into every kind of hustling and get into every kind of gimmicks and scammings around. No. But you can settle down with directed financial intelligence. You can do something that can bless you. Ladies, how many of you bake here? If you know you bake to the glory of God, let me see your hands. Why are you sitting down? Is that not your gift? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Have you tried it and failed? When you fail, you learn the lessons and get back. Hallelujah. There are all kinds of fields around. If you get a small place and start poultry, within six to seven weeks, they are ready. Some of you are good. How many of you are good in graphics? Good in graphics. You know that you are good enough to... to you see that? Can't you start something? Look at the media. Imagine, if you are so good, why can't you come and advertise yourself and tell the media, I'm very good. Give me job to do for Koinonia. If you bring proposals and we look at it and it makes a lot of sense, we'll take it. 
And we'll pay you for it. We won't say you are a Christian brother. We'll pay you for your value. But have you taken a step? No. Some of you make shirts. How many of you make shirts? Let me see your hands. You make shirts. Honestly, you make shirts. You. And you have never made any shirts for me. And I know you. You see what we are saying? Ejimi, when Ejimi started making shirts, it was iron. Hot iron. What do they call it? Is it screen printing? No, that's not screen printing. Yeah? Heat transfer. You will press the iron on the shirt and then we'll, we'll go on with it. Challenge yourself. Let's not just keep saying demons, demons, demons. Where it is our own part to play, let's play it. Is that true? I feel like everybody should stand up. Everybody stand up. You must join them in this, in this one. Why are you sitting down? With everything that I've said, you are supposed to be standing up and even raising two hands. <laughs> let's pray and then after it, we'll take the altar call. I want everybody to be blessed. Not everybody will be a man of God to stand on stage and be receiving honorariums. But there is something you can do. Everyone say, there's something I have. I, I cast out that spirit of fear that stops you from taking action. Fear of losing, fear of... I cast it out in the name of Jesus. If you must be blessed in life, it takes audacity. It takes gods. Hallelujah. Ladies, how many of you plot? I know Selena Platt. Where is she? Selena. She has run away. Okay, look at her. Some of you plot. But the problem is, you are like the man with the one talent. You buried it and sat quietly. Have you come out to make yourself known? Look, let me tell you. If you think you have what it takes, market yourself. And we will promote you. I assure you. If you think you have what it takes... And you believe you are prepared to stand. We are not going to bring crooks. As I'm saying this now, let me balance it. You are a crook who will pray. We will send you away. We will pray for you. If you become a headache, we will send you away. Clean business with the dignity of kingdom integrity. Fail honorably. We will clap for you and pray for you again. But don't sit down and not do anything. Hallelujah. And then start small. Some of you want good luck, Jonathan, to call you to be his secretary. Start small. Start small. Start small. How many of you make um, maybe mouthwash or lotions or soap and all of that? How many? Look at. Look at your money. See all your money here. Everybody. How many of you sell perfumes or cosmetics? You see that? Look at. I'm not saying you should come to church and come to do business around, but there, there are thousands of people. Please, I'm challenging you. Take it very seriously. Oh boy, you make cake now. Raise your hand. Why didn't you wave your hand? That gentleman, wave it very well. That gentleman makes exceptional cakes. The first time his sister made cake for me was in 2006. My birthday, Debbie. That cake made sense. And then another thing I'll tell you again is, maybe the reason why you are where you are is you need to improve on yourself. Don't be a local champion and keep smiling. We will not patronize your product. And don't be angry. Don't say all this coin on your... We won't buy it. Let me tell you in advance. You make a shirt that does not align this place. Is here. We will not buy it, sir. So learn and be excellent. Say, I'll be excellent. How many of you fried chicken? You know the guy, Kentucky fried chicken. I think he was about 64 years or 84 years thereabout. It was frustration that led that man to start KFC. You see it around. Kentucky fried chicken. Today he has, he's a multi-millionaire, if not a billionaire, because he dared to take a step. You don't have to do everything. You are doing chin chin. You are doing bones. You are doing... Uh, every, no, no. Specialize somewhere. This is what I always tell people. Jack of all trades. You are, uh, they say, what are you doing? Say, I'm doing everything. I'm, I make beats. I also sell pure water. Calm down. Focus on something. Kenny, your aunt, where is Kenny? Your auntie does what? What does she do? She sells coke. She retails coke. 
she makes so much money. Maybe in one day, what her salary will give her in one month. And we are still sitting down here. Is it that you are calling yourself dull or you are saying you cannot make it? Please challenge yourself. Brothers, God is speaking to you. I know that we are advising the sisters and saying start small. But you to cooperate. Haba. The small cannot be too bad like that. Cooperate. Let's balance the equation. Because some of us, we can't keep telling the sisters, okay, just come with anybody and the brother is not doing anything. You too be sincere. If the sister was your daughter, will you just give her to any man like that? Rise up and do something. Have you taken proposal to go and meet the schools around and say, I need to change your school uniform. I need to redesign it. Everybody may say no, but somebody will say yes. Hallelujah. I spent four good weeks teaching on financial dominion so that we will take steps. We were discussing with somebody on the potentials of seeing a laundry service around. Very excellent laundry service. There are some of you who can do it. Package yourself. I think it was with my sister. Baby, was you Abby? Yes. We are talking with my sister. And then... Okay, Kenny, you were there too, and, and those boys. We sat down and we're talking. My sister, this lady wants to start a car wash. As you see her like that. She can't be my sister and she's not. The Bible says, let this mind be in you. Force it to be in you too. She's starting a car wash. A copper, but she's going to start a car wash. How old are you? You want to wait until the day it dawns on you that your energy is fading. Lift your hands. Don't go and steal. Don't go and do anything bad. But set it down. Many of you are crying and say, capital, capital, hold on. How many of you know about you win? At least you win is not a scam. We all know that is genuine. How many of you applied? You see that? Whereas there are people I know in this place who can settle down and help you prepare good business proposals. 10 million naira, not debt, grant that the government is giving. And let me tell you, they are very fair. I know some of our people here who got it. And I know they are very fair and genuine. How about submitting a proposal? Or at least partnering with somebody else. You can partner with somebody else. By the time the money comes, so a few of our people here got, got it. Brothers and sisters, let's wake up. God is talking to us. Hallelujah. Let's not just be falling down. Take it, take it, and fall down. But let's get up and do something. Hallelujah. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. How many of you fix computers? You know that you know anything around computers. Okay, Moses, who again? Honestly, why can't you start a very good factory? Genuinely, if you can't fix the person's phone or computer, tell the person I cannot do it. How many of you bring in cars? Anybody does that? You just brought a car from Abuja now. Did you do it well? Clean business. You got your own commission. That's what we are talking about. You don't have to play pranks and tricks to be blessed. Are you getting me? Please, I'm challenging you. Hear me inside and outside. I'm going to pray now, but I want to challenge everyone. I don't just want to chorus it just like that, and then we don't do anything. In the whole of Amadou Bello University, for instance, at least let me use one institution. Is there an ice cream machine there? Please answer me. Is there an ice cream machine? Look at. And there are over 40,000 potential customers. There are some of you here, the money you have, right now in your account can buy 10. why don't you prepare a proposal three or four of you don't just choose people because they are christians and then they cheat you and you come and give me headache here use financial intelligence are you getting me now so that somebody because i'm aware that in a crowd like this there are all kinds of people don't let anybody come in the name of the lord and carry you and then go and do some kind of funny things no but with proper financial intelligence some of you here you have the potentials to be paying the school fees of others. You are looking for a job that will give you 30000 whereas God wants to make a nation out of you. An ice cream machine. 
an ice cream machine. Let me tell you. I remember when one guy opened an ice cream machine some years ago. I was spending more than 1,000, a bit 2,000 per day just to buy for myself and others. One tiny cup like this. One color. Not even chocolate and this. One milk color. See, as a Christian, take the anointing you are receiving and let it open your eyes to see opportunities. Are you getting my point? Where others are looking, you should see. Don't let anybody tell you you are small. No. Challenge yourself. This is how to get out of poverty. Please do it and fail honorably. If you did it in integrity, my God will revisit you and you will rise up again. Hallelujah. At this level, it may be unwise for you to start thinking, I want to develop an estate. You may not have that kind of money. It may require tens and hundreds of millions to do that. So why don't you start small? How many of you are producers, music producers? You can produce. You can produce, Mike. You can produce. You too. You too. See? Have you packaged yourself enough? Have you tried to do a jingle proposal for media? Why don't you do a jingle proposal for media? Have you done it and they didn't pay you? Let me tell you something. In as much as we are working in the body of Christ, are you getting my point? I understand the principle of rewarding value. Can I tell you something? I'm challenging everyone in this place. If you have something you think can make Koinonia a better place and you package it, bring it as a proposal. If we love it, we will honor you and we will pay you for it. I guarantee you. Every week, welfare is cooking. Why can't some of you make poultry? Look at our ladies. Shortly, I'm going to be announcing some new weddings that have come up now. Why don't you go and meet them and say, I have 100 birds. Just book. How much is one bed? 1,005. One five. Now, if you have 100 beds, or let's say 50 beds, how much is that? About 75,000 there about. And then they carry the money and they are giving somebody and we are sitting in the body of Christ. Please, let's be wise Christians. Times have changed. Are you getting my point? I'm saying this from the depths of my heart to challenge us. Don't say there is nothing I, can, I cannot do. He said, what do you have in your house? There is always something in your house. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. There is something you have in your house. You can sell clothes. Do you know, listen, I have been shocked. Many of you, you have seen me come to stand here to minister. And you know that as ministers, we are always wearing clothes. And some of you have, there are, see, if this was in the east or this was in the south, Somebody will sit down and say, let me study the kind of shirt this person is wearing. Let me study this and that. And then you start producing. It's only one lady. Where is she? Our decoration mama. Where is she? I think she was the only one together with Ada. It was you, right? Together with Ada. That they were able to put something on ground. Because she's a fashion designer. As a fashion designer, you are there throwing your money, designing rags all around. And people are not buying design something decent how many brothers dress well here there are some of you who can sell nice suits you may not be able to afford certain levels maybe 30 000, 40 50 100 but you can start small many brothers here don't know where they sell suits why don't you bring it closer home hallelujah some of you draw how many of you draw you are painters or you are artists you, you did very well. You are one of the best students now in your. Have you tried to do a proposal to say when it is somebody's birthday, you can say, I can point, paint your picture. 30,000 people are selling one of those artworks. Have you done anything? So let's stop blaming God when we have not taken any step. Hallelujah. Let's lift our hands. Thank you, Jesus. As we lift our hands in worship, as we praise your holy name, you deserve the glory and the honor. Father, we lift our hands in worship as we 
Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for your people by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let an anointing come upon every business in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that your businesses will rise beyond these limits. From the realm of thousands, we take it to the realm of millions from the realm of millions we take it to tens of millions and hundreds of millions and billions in the name of jesus for those of you trusting god for creative ideas may my god give you creative ideas in the name of jesus christ for those of you who started and failed i bring a word of encouragement go back again re-strategize and go back again and may my god lift your hands this time around in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray that your products and your services whatever it is that you have to do beginning from zaria here or whatever your locality is may the lord announce it for you in the name of jesus christ may the spirit of excellence come upon you that you will package and design your products with top quality and excellence and may it bring you abundance may it bring you plenty in the name of jesus christ i rebuke the spirit of fear fear of failure fear of loss fear of defeat i curse it in the name of jesus i command every dry bone in this place to come at life live again all the ideas all the partnerships all the sponsorships all the endorsements that you need to rise from where you are to the next level may my god give it to you in the name of the lord jesus may my god give it to you hallelujah god bless you please go back to your seat we will do this for the sake of your glory we surrender all to you let this place remain a place of healing a place of deliverance a place of transformation a place where men meet with the king thank you lord jesus because it's by the power of the holy ghost no man is able to do this week after week we gather in your presence i pray in the name of jesus that you help us in the mighty name of jesus let tonight not be an ordinary night, oh God. Change our destinies. Change our destinies. We declare how much we love you and how much we need you. We appreciate the things that you're doing in our midst. We refuse to take for granted the miracles and the manifestations of your grace. We come with hearts of gratitude. And Lord, we thank you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This is your house. Your home. We welcome you. Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, your home. We welcome you today. This is your house, your home. We welcome you, Lord. 
Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, your home. We welcome you today. Lord, we welcome you today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never, never take for granted what God is doing in this place. Hallelujah. Every time you come for this meeting, realize that it's an opportunity for you to meet with Him. Hallelujah so that you don't just come and not receive we want you to leave with something that will make a mark in your life in the name of jesus welcome everyone around you thank you for coming please hug someone Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight's teaching is very powerful. Um, hallelujah. There are certain times in our lives when God brings messages that can alter our destinies. Every message is important. I believe it is powerful. But there are certain times when God just steps in and grants you keys and revelations that will make you so powerful and so blessed. I believe that if you take seriously what you are going to hear tonight, it will open us to new dimensions of glory in the name of Jesus. Help us tonight, dear Spirit of God. You are the only helper we have. Grant us grace in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. One of the greatest assets that a Christian can have in his life is not just the ability to pray. It's not just the ability to, to study God's word. It's not even just the ability to love God. But one of the greatest assets that a believer can have is the ability to interpret spiritual things hallelujah the ability to relate the things that happen in the earth realm from the perspective of the heavens the bible says the sons of Issachar had an understanding of the times praise god when in the days of belshazzar the bible says that there was a handwriting that came from the realm of the spirit and wrote on the wall Mene, mene tekel, and no man including the soothsayers and the magicians could interpret it hallelujah one of the greatest assets that we need in these days as believers is to contend for that place in the spirit where we are able to interpret the handwritings that are on the wall so that we can understand the things that the holy ghost is doing we can understand the pathways in the spirit and this is what we seek to enforce in this place all the principles that we teach in this place all of the times of prayer and impartation is to open us to that point in the spirit where we are able to relate with spiritual things for the bible says the natural man does not understand the things of the spirit why because it takes a level of discernment in the spirit to interpret it hallelujah praise god And I was excited when the Lord asked me to share what I'm about to share tonight. Because I believe that someone's life will never be the same in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Tonight, I'm teaching on a subject I title, Activating Breakthroughs. Activating Breakthroughs. And then you put a colon. 
the ministry of destiny help us activating breakthroughs colon the ministry of destiny help us the beauty of christianity please listen look up the beauty of christianity is that every time we relate to god either in worship in fastings in prayer there is always a response from heaven hallelujah a response from heaven to this earth realm hallelujah and so god responds to us by releasing miracles by releasing signs wonders by granting us the ability to partake of his success hallelujah christianity is very will be very unfair on the part of god if the believers do not have an opportunity to participate in the love and the honor and the glory that god carries i love the song that the worship team just rendered that not only does god want to use us but he wants us to have the opportunity to partake of everything that he has it establishes our oneness and his desire to bless us hallelujah and so the subject of breakthrough has been something on my mind i've seen churches and ministries passionate about god passionate about the things of god I've seen ministries that fast, that pray, call upon the name of God. They walk in holiness and righteousness. But not many of their congregations ever truly experience breakthroughs. Hallelujah. The sick people come, they go back sick. The oppressed people come, they go back oppressed. The only notable thing that happens in that environment is that their souls being saved. And while that is wonderful and great, what about families that are in bondages? What about destinies that have been tied down? What about people who need to step into the blessings of God? Hallelujah. And eventually, the congregations begin to ask questions and say, is, is God not interested in our personal well-being? Is he just interested in using us for his glory is he just interested in watching us pray and fast you know interceding for souls and so on and so forth is he just interested in seeing us serve him what do we have what package has he designed is he insensitive to our needs is he unaware of the challenges that our families have hallelujah is he aware that there are doors that have been closed over families and destinies? If yes, is he interested in doing anything about it? Hallelujah. And it's important that as we minister to God's people, we open them up to everything that can be obtained in God. By God's grace, we teach you prayer. We teach you how to walk in the world. We teach you how to live in obedience to God. But we must also expose you to the dimensions of God that can release breakthroughs in your life. Hallelujah. That's why we take testimonies every week. As a symbol of what God is doing in the lives of his people. Because you see, when you receive personal results in your life, you are motivated to follow God. That may not be your primary reason, but it can motivate you. Is that true? When when you receive phone calls like the gentleman who just shared where's the gentleman that shared about his mom you can imagine now he comes for the meeting and then while he's sitting under the at atmosphere of god's presence his mom gets healed somewhere hallelujah do you believe this guy has been motivated to press more into god believers are motivated if you see he said when john the baptist sent that they should ask jesus christ if he was the messiah he didn't answer the disciples he just turned and began to heal the sick began to do miraculous things and then when he was done he told john he told the disciples say go and tell john what you have seen in other words the kingdom of god should find visible expression 
the kingdom of God represents the entirety of God's sovereignty his power if God is as powerful as we preach if God is as great if he's as loving and caring as we teach then don't you think that at a point in your life your life should experience some testimonies that can encourage you that you can have a message for yourself and say I have seen the hand of God in my life I have seen the intervention of God I've seen breakthroughs in my families and I told God something I said Lord I never want to be part of a ministry that does not have results hallelujah I don't want to just come and deceive God's people and it's not enough just to fall down and stand up if you're falling down it's not producing results you will get angry one day hallelujah but thank God we have a God that is alive and is doing wonders in our midst hallelujah and so I'm sharing on activating breakthroughs in my personal life and in my journey in the spirit there are four things that characterize seasons of breakthrough in a man's life please take this teaching very seriously four things every time a man is about to step into prophetic defining moments moments of breakthrough I'm not just talking of one testimony here realms of breakthrough where God is about to step into a life and truly do something notable there are four things that happen when you approach that season of your life I'm teaching you this so that you can know and relate with these seasons when they come hallelujah again one of the things I learned watching the film Lord of the Rings is the fact that they were warriors from different kingdoms and what made these people warriors was not just the ability to fight but the ability to understand seasons hallelujah when other men just stumbled into seasons those men could look and discern I remember one of them looking and seeing a red cloud and he said blood had been shed in the night the ability to look when other people are just looking you are standing from a plane in the spirit and you are saying this has happened because something is happening the wise men hallelujah the wise men saw a star and while other people were saying ah, ah why is the earth shining like this they understood that this is a message in the realm of the spirit that they ought to respond to hallelujah so while the star was supposed to lead men to where Jesus was some other people just looked and they were moving around and they were happy yet others were taking advantage of the seasons so I don't just want you to interpret the happenings around life from an earth realm hallelujah I want you to be able to see prophetic things that when you see handwritings on the wall you don't just pass it many people have missed out on seasons of breakthrough because they have not been taught to discern moments of breakthrough in their life many families would have risen from where they are, from where they are into the prophetic destiny that God has for them but because they do not know how to understand spiritual things so follow me tonight four things number one when a major season of breakthrough is about to open up in your life the first thing that happens is that there is an unusual impartation of the spirit of prayer an unusual impartation of the spirit of prayer whenever you begin to sense an irresistible urge to pray an irresistible urge to pray not just to pray with in a group know that these are prophetic signposts these are languages in the spirit that are pointing to you that you are about to step into a major season of breakthrough and i will explain to you why these things happen spirit of prayer how many of you have sat down and suddenly you cannot tell it's not like you are not prayerful but maybe over a period of three or four days or one week you cannot rest you are praying every time 
you are partnering with what is happening in the realm of the spirit you may not even know but because you have yielded yourself to the holy spirit the holy spirit must not always speak to you his ultimate um desire is to lead you not just to speak to you that your body comes to a point where even without speaking to you you can permit him to carry out what the bible says the holy ghost drove jesus to the wilderness he didn't say jesus let's go jesus's body was so yielded to the holy ghost that he just found himself moving at the impulse of the holy spirit and the bible says the wind blew it where it listeth you cannot tell where it's coming or where it's going such is one who is led of the spirit so every time you are about to step into prophetic seasons of breakthrough you know what a breakthrough is a breakthrough is when the barrier that is limiting you from stepping into the next level of your life is about to be lifted or is lifted that's a breakthrough when there is a stronghold when there is a mountain when there is a limitation when there is a resistance that would not allow you to push through to that next level of life in destiny by whatever spiritual agency when that barrier is lifted we call it a breakthrough so number one what the spirit of prayer suddenly you see someone who may not even pray for an hour but you find out that there is grace to pray grace to pray while you're praying it's like there's an endless supply while you're praying you can sense in the spirit that things are happening you cannot tell what it is that is happening but you know that the more you press your prayer is doing something and is having an effect in your spirit directly sometimes you begin to pray and you get to a point in your spirit where you can even start laughing i'm not talking of laughing in the spirit joy that you cannot explain because a chord is being hit in the spirit but many people when they get to that point because they do not know the significance of that dimension of prayer they do not partner with the angels to bring in complete breakthroughs and they go back and miss out on cycles and seasons of breakthrough that would have come are you getting blessed number two when you are about to enter a prophetic season of breakthrough in your life the second thing that happens is an unusual grace to give an unusual grace to give an unusual grace when you are about to step into those prophetic seasons suddenly you lose value of everything around you you just know that i can give anything and it won't matter again when that begins to happen to you take note have you gotten to a point where you sit down and just look at your clothes and you can carry about 20 or 30 percent of them and just say i'm going to sew it and i tell you there is a dissociation between you and those things is because you are about to step into a new level you see how many of you have missed out on such seasons because you did not know how to take advantage if you could take advantage of it you would have stepped into major seasons of breakthroughs this that i'm teaching you is born out of the word of god and practical experiences hallelujah there are many of you who can just be walking and the next thing god tells you go for a retreat quick you are supposed to travel god just summons you and says go for a retreat the moment that happens make sure nothing is too important to make you cancel that appointment hallelujah because that's not just your normal prayer for spiritual growth it is a call to contend with the things in the heavens so that you will step into a prophetic season in your life so number one the spirit of prayer an unusual urge to pray to travel in the spirit you just find yourself blessing the lord you are sleeping in the night and god wakes you that sleep cannot come back again and you are just praying in the spirit that's a sign that a door is about to open for you in the spirit but many of you wake up and when you see your colleague sleeping just say kai let me just 15 minutes exactly 
by the grace of God, I won't add 15 minutes. You even put one leg down on your bed so that you can wake up. And you wake up and see that it's 6 o'clock. And you see, the Holy Spirit does not struggle with the human spirit. Are you listening to me? Because it's not a demon. The moment he begins to communicate to you, it's a language in the spirit. He's telling you, watch this. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Can you stand? So that you will step into this major season. Hallelujah. Number two, an unusual urge to give. Not just, I'm not just talking of giving money alone, but suddenly you get to the point where nothing that you have is like a string that connects the things that you have and you is suddenly broken away from your life. And you know at that point, if God asks you to empty your bank account or if God asks you to give anything, you can lose it including your family members it's not like you don't love them i'm just giving you languages in the spirit you know that there's nothing nothing and you find out that you know that by the kind of songs you sing in your place of prayer you begin to sing songs of surrender and commitment you don't even know why you are singing those songs have they ever raised a song for you and you know this is not the song that communicates what god is saying it's not bad but mm -mm, this is not the song hallelujah when you step in church and they just sing a song we can sing a powerful song like um more of you more of you it's nice but it doesn't strike a chord in your spirit and even you you think you are backsliding no no you just sit down you are not you are not connecting you are even feeling guilty about it you are wondering why you are not connecting hallelujah then suddenly they raise another song i lay it all down again and you start crying you don't even know what is happening it's a reaction to a season that your spirit is relating with the moment they begin to sing that so anything that has to do with laying it down forgetting about it you know your spirit picks it up and that's the song you're just singing may not make sense to you but you are getting into defining moments that will open up prophetic seasons of breakthrough are you getting blessed tonight number three when you are about to step into major seasons of breakthrough i mean major seasons number three there will be an unusual confrontation from the kingdom of darkness suddenly you notice that is as if all hell is breaking loose over you as if the satan i mean the devil just told all the demons said look just leave everybody chase wumi find wumi anywhere you see her look for her hallelujah have you seen people like that so it looks like the more they are praying for you the issue is getting worse hold on that's the time to begin to see from the realm of the spirit because many people are taught to judge these things do you know why you see satan does not know your future but the moment a prophetic word is uttered what happens there is an unusual manifestation of angelic activities suddenly it sends a signal in the realm of the spirit what because they know that satan knows he was an angel before i hope you know so he knows that every time there is an unusual dispatch of angels something is about to be translated from the realm of the spirit into this realm hallelujah and suddenly confrontations from the power of darkness they begin to bring arrows of discouragement impatience procrastination offense suddenly you find out that a major season is about to enter your family and your father and mother are quarreling for trivial issues why did you bring the tea in this green cup is this the cup i use every day and you are wondering you are like daddy what is this whole thing if you learn to judge from the spirit you see why you start by unusual ability to pray because there will be contentions are you getting blessed tonight suddenly you are just getting offended with people for reasons they cannot tell Someone looks at you and says, beautiful hair. He says, eh, mock me. Ah, 
Even you, you are finding what is wrong. People say you are being so edgy. You are being offensive. What is wrong? Say, even me, I don't know what is happening. But God is telling you, go and pray. Because you are stepping into prophetic moments. Are you listening to me? The powers of darkness are finding access points that they can step into your life. And on legal grounds, hinder what God wants to do. Are you seeing why praise is a tool for victory? You see why God will give you? Are you seeing that? This is why sometimes when breakthroughs are about to come, God will distract you with praise. So that before you realize the breakthrough can come. So you lock yourself and you are just dancing in it. You don't even know why you are dancing. Because with joy shall you draw out of the wells of salvation. Many people have lost it at this point. Suddenly you find out that everybody is just offending you. You are about to go and pray. You are sensing in your spirit. And somebody comes and says, let me tell you something. Selina, um, I wouldn't have told you, but let me tell you. Do you know what your sister said? And you are like, what again? These are dangerous seeds that, that will stop you from entering prophetic moments of your life. Hallelujah. Or you are about to go and pray and then a call comes. And your mother says, do you know what happened? There was an accident. Ah -ah. In your dreams, you are seeing your family members rejoicing. You are even seeing them cutting cake. In the physical, you are hearing that one car has at such times many people just dampen their spirit the bible says for as long as the hands of moses kept it it was up what happened there was victory when aaron and her were tired and they began to bring the hand what happened how can a man's hand control the victory that is happening in a war front many people do not understand spiritual pathways and i'm telling you the more you have this knowledge the more you will reign in life unusual confrontations in fact for some of you they may even be direct confrontations you're just walking and for the first time you hear a voice saying you will die you will die and you carry that mindset it's a seed that the devil wants to sow into your life that's the day you got up and found out that your shirts that they eye on your roommate why is hey god let me kill somebody today where is she prophetic moments notice that the moment that season is aborted all those disturbances just minimize and you can live your normal life are you are you listening to me prophetic seasons and then number four number four is suddenly you will begin to attract certain people called destiny helpers destiny helpers there will be prophetic unusual encounters please let me have two people my god open our eyes tonight teach us mysteries in the spirit come you stand up here kenny sam just stay down hallelujah watch this this is a level look up everybody this is a level is that correct this gentleman wants to step into this level and he has been walking now he has gotten to this prophetic shift hallelujah while he's praying and fasting this is what happens can i have a third person anybody thank you pastor Femi. suddenly god you just be walking sir. yes just be coming and God comes and causes you to intercept at the exact time with certain people he calls destiny helpers. Their job, hold his hands, is to help you and guide you to step up and they will leave. Sam, you climb, climb up, Femi, go back. That's their job. Sometimes they will come into your life just once and you may never see them again. Follow me tonight. God bless you, sirs. Four things happen to believers. 
This is the structure of God's kingdom. Hallelujah. When Jesus was going to go and bring a major breakthrough to a man who was possessed of devils and to go and preach in Gadara, what happened? They were in the boat, in, a, in, a, in their boat. Is that correct? Suddenly, the sea started getting boisterous. Question, was that the first time they were going by sea? I hope you realize that the sea was not just boisterous. It was the demons, the legions of devils that were in the man at Gadara that were reacting, attempting to stop them from coming. Hallelujah. Notice, did you notice that the disciples started getting angry at Jesus Christ? They got offended. They said, Master, carest thou not that we perish? When Jesus woke up, he knew that he needed to calm them down and he said, Shalom. What happened? The Bible tells us that that madman used to stay in caves. Who told him Jesus was coming? Because the moment Jesus stepped into Gadara, he was there waiting. He was the first person he met. Hallelujah. Did you hear the lady that came to share the testimony about her father? That ever, how can a man be having accidents every month? When I don't watch so much of football, but when you are in a serious match, I don't mean friendlies just to shake yourself and change jerseys. Real match that can change the destiny of a nation. Hallelujah. When you are about to score, what happens? The people, they tell them, do everything. Quacking, killing, just do everything. Stop this guy from school. You find out that the hostility increases. Because at that point, a single goal can make the difference. Are you understanding this? Many people and many families have missed out on cycles. It's like a spiritual cycle. When you miss it, it will come back. But it won't come back immediately so your job is to stand and discern when you see that cloud moving you begin to walk with the holy ghost to make preparations for the things that god wants to release hallelujah i'll not talk about the first three i'll talk very briefly about the last one destiny help us who are these men who are these strange beings that seem to come to 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 stand by people in the path of destiny please write destiny help us are men and women that we find on our road to breakthroughs our road to destiny who provide help for the next level of our lives our miracles and our destiny there are men that we meet on our path to destiny. I'm going to be showing you from God's word. And you'll see how consistent this is. Say in the name of Jesus. I activate breakthroughs in my life. The Bible says. In the book of Genesis 41. If you turn there the story of Joseph. Look up please. Joseph had a great destiny. Is that correct? He had a dream and he told his brothers. He said, brothers, I saw you people bowing to me. The brothers said, you will see, we'll kill you before that will happen. And they sold him. Is that correct? Do you realize, let me show you all the people that played a role in that journey. The Bible says it was at the time he entered the well that certain Egyptians were passing. Why did they not pass before? Or after forget the fact that they bought him but they were the vehicles that transported him he didn't pay transport fare they transported him into where Potiphar's house do you know that Egypt was his geographical location of breakthrough are you listening to me so how was he going to go there his father would never allow him to go to Egypt I hope you know and so certain Egyptians in the name of buying him while they were carrying him he did not know that prophetically there were angels and activities that were pushing him to the place of destiny hold on when he gets to Egypt the Bible says 
that he went into the prison now watch this every time you are about to take a journey into destiny before you start god will show you something that you will hold in that journey for moses it is a rod for joseph it is a dream god will say note it one day we'll make reference with you will never start your journey without knowing what he gave you many of us have thrown it that jar is it, it, no good because it does not look for moses he said you hold this rod a day will come when he got to that point in the red sea he said remember the rod now moses stretch that rod a time has come for the ministry of that rod to come in hallelujah for joseph he had nothing but a simple dream a simple dream are you following me tonight he had a simple dream and while these guys were taking did he like it but he was going to the geography of his breakthrough when he got there what happened and this is the sign because while he was going the bible says god was with him this is how you know god is with you because even in the midst of these things you see favor the favor and the grace of god and the bible says he went into prison what happened he was faithful and potiphar made him the head of everything except his wife watch this then comes this dangerous woman who sees this handsome egyptian hallelujah and on account of his work with god and his loyalty to his master what happened the bible says he ran and he left his clothes there do you know if joseph had slept with her he would have just been happy and gone back to the prison in the evening and he would have remained there who know that he slept with her but he would have remained in the prison there hallelujah and the bible says joseph was in the prison and god made it in such a way that it was when joseph was coming to the prison that the wine presser and the baker for some reasons they annoyed the king the king said go and lock them the king let's explain they go and lock them and while they locked them there then joseph steps in watch this He looks at them and Joseph is worried about their state. They woke up in the morning and the Bible says their countenance was very bad. Hallelujah. And the wine presser said, I have a dream. Why did God create a need that only the gift in Joseph could solve? Are you following me now? God knew that he had given Joseph grace for dreams. Then he created that need. And the wine presser got up. Please listen. He said, I had a dream. I saw this and that and that and this and that happened. And Joseph told him, he said, wow, in three days, the king is going to call you back and you'll be reinstated to your position. The guy laughed. He said, please, when you go, don't forget me. The other guy said, ah, me too, I have my own. No. He said, what is wrong? He said, there were three baskets on my head. And vultures came and ate everything. Joseph said, well, in three days, they'll finally finish up your case. They'll bring you out and they'll go and hang you. And the birds of the air will eat up your flesh. Watch this. Joseph did not know that those two people, they did not have gift, but they had access to the king that could bring Joseph. Are you seeing? Destiny helpers may not be gifted people, but they have access you have the gift but you don't have access to the king they have access to the king but they may not have the gifts hallelujah it came to pass like that and after the wine presser was reinstated the bible says he forgot joseph but watch this when it was time for joseph to step into the place of destiny what happened god now since the wine the wine presser forgot him i'm sure joseph would have been disappointed you now see that he would have been angry and said oh two years this guy kept me in this captivity and i helped him but something happened the bible says that god gave the king a dream you see it now when god is ready to lift you those who matter he will give them a problem they cannot solve and shut every door until your gift answers to it that's how god lifts a man 
please listen i'm teaching you a powerful mystery because every king they had sorcerers and soothsayers this is egypt we are talking about egypt had thousands of gods they could consult but that day god shut the heavens the magicians did everything the heavens would not open and the king said you better answer my dream you better find the solution kings were cruel people those days they could wipe out a whole land because they were angry suddenly the magicians consulted and said what is happening they said we don't know and then the wine presser said something watch this 41 verse 9 41 verse 9 are you there then spoke the chief butler unto Pharaoh saying I do remember my faults this day so after two years the man remembered Pharaoh was angry with his servants and put me in prison in the captain of the guard's house both me and the chief baker listen and we dreamed a dream in one night I and he we dreamed each man according to the interpretation of his dreams listen and there was there with us a young man and hebrew servant to the captain of the guard and we told him now hold on do you know while all of this was happening joseph did not know that he was at the edge are you listening to me if he had missed a defining moment he would have remained in that prison sometimes could it be that you are just a night away to a major breakthrough in your life have you heard that song? I was right at the edge of a breakthrough but couldn't see it. Powerful song. Many believers have gotten to the edge and then Satan comes into it something that aborts the whole journey. That in, and it came to pass as he interpreted to us. So it was. Now listen. If Joseph had his way, listen. If Joseph had his way and he ever met Pharaoh once, do you know Pharaoh will be so impressed with Joseph that you say, why are you in the prison in the first place? But sometimes, do you, see the irony of life. You can see a gifted person who graduated and he's so good. And here is somebody who is a blessed man who needs that gift. But the, that contact. Are you listening to me? There are many of our loved ones that are gifted. I heard the story of a gentleman who fan caught his, some of his fingers. And then suddenly it was like an anointing came upon him. And that guy could draw, you know, um, fine art students. He could do what they call it, um, abstract on the wall. Praise God. And then this guy had been praying to God and said, Lord, give my family a major breakthrough. Because his mother told him, I didn't go to school. Your hands are cut, but do something. Go and learn something. And this guy was praying. Watch this. When that was happening, the Holy Ghost began to give him ideas. He said, begin to do your abstract on plenty papers and store them. Every time you see this guy drawing, people are saying, your colleagues are going out to look for a job. He said, but God told me this. Watch this. Suddenly, one day, he went to visit his friend. Huh? When he went to visit his friend, his friend was talking with someone and it so happened that they just opened the branch. This is a true story. They opened the branch of a bank. You know banks do abstract on their wall and they had been looking for someone. The person who used to do it for the bank, he did something nasty and the bank got angry with him. And suddenly they just said, ah, but don't you draw. The guy came there with his file. He was ready. They said, meet at so, so, so place. And he went, do you know that that day he got a contract of over four million naira overnight why hold on it wasn't just because the people that connected him did not even know the gravity of what they were doing do you realize that your destiny helpers do not know they are destiny helpers god conceals it so that they will not corrupt what he's trying to do through them the destiny helpers themselves never know they are destiny helpers until the miracle happens one day when you are saying it the wine presser if the wine presser knew that he was sitting close to someone who would be the prime minister of of egypt you think he would treat him the way he treated him hallelujah and then let me rush they called Joseph 
I like, I like, I like the way. Let's look at um, verse 14. Kapo Sata Baladaba. 14. Are you there? 41 verse 14. And Pharaoh sent, listen. Pharaoh sent at the recommendation of who? A destiny helper. The wine presser. The wine presser said, I testified that there was a time I needed help. Hallelujah. And a Hebrew guy called Joseph. By this time, do you know what it means to stay two years in the prison without shaving? Without, you don't have the luxury of shaving and this. You were looking like a, a native doctor. And the Bible says, I'll show you from scripture. Verse 14. And Pharaoh sent and called Joseph. And they brought him hastily out of where? The dungeon. It's only your destiny partners that can connect you to come out of some dungeons. You may be gifted, but you will remain in some dungeons. Until some destiny partners come. Do you know that many of our family members, they are praying in tongues and they are gifted. Let me announce to everybody here, there is something you have that is in desperate demand. The distance between you and your place of honor is a destiny helper. If you never find these destiny helpers, you can die a failure in life. I've seen this happen so many times. Hallelujah. When we were about to get the venue for this place, when God began to speak to us about Koinonia, we were praying. You know how difficult it is to get venue. Hallelujah. We were even looking for a place to pay for. And I began to pray. I began to pray. And I had a number of options. And when I was praying, the Lord showed me, said, you will use CGC. I really didn't know. I had ministered only once or twice in the ministry. I said, Lord, how can you use people's auditorium? And then you start. And God said, you hold on. But he had taught me the ministry of destiny helpers. So I knew better. Are you following me now? And I knew which tool to engage. Not random, foolish prayer pointless arrow you have ak-47 you are just shooting everywhere you need to direct with target that's what many believers are doing we just pray but we do not know the bible says through wise counsel make war you can you can minimize wasting bullets many people just pray everywhere and say break to wherever you are let him meet you calm down you can walk with wisdom and walk circumspectly i began to pray because i knew that all I needed was a destiny. Do you know it does not take more than 24 hours for God to change a man's story. God just needs to bring a man. Your father has been praying. He's a good architect. And there are people begging. Begging. They want to build estates. They are begging. Can there be something that will happen in the realm of the spirit? See. There's no time I would have given you stories of how people's lives have changed overnight. I hope you believe what I'm teaching tonight. Hallelujah. Let's continue. Joseph the Bible says and he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came to Pharaoh and Pharaoh said unto Joseph I have dreamed a dream and there is none that can interpret it and I have heard say of thee that thou canst understand a dream to interpret it and Joseph answered Pharaoh and said it is not in me God shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace hallelujah and then he interprets the dream. Verse 32. It's amazing when your gift begins to speak in the place where it is honored. Do you know something? Listen. Your gift will never speak in a place they don't value and honor it. Hallelujah. That's why you can see someone who is a worshiper. He goes somewhere to minister. It's not the place of his honor. They don't even honor it. But he can step into another place. Your gift will always create an effect where it was designed to be honored. Always. Hallelujah. 32. And for that, the dream was doubled unto Pharaoh twice. 
it is because the thing is established by God and God will shortly bring it to pass. Look at the ease at which Joseph was interpreting this dream and the magicians were all watching. God orchestrated an event where all the all the senate members of Egypt were gathered and they were listening. See, listen. Whenever God begins to prepare a table before you, learn to discern from the spirit because he will be taking you to a place you never dreamt of. He'll lead me and guide me to the city up above. He'll lead me and guide me to my place of destiny. I know he leads me and he guides me to the city up above. Lord, you lead me and guide me to my place of destiny. Hallelujah. 33. Now, therefore, let Pharaoh seek out a man. He didn't know he was talking about himself. Desperate and wise. And set him over the land of Egypt. Let Pharaoh do this and let him appoint officers over the land. And take up the fifth part of the land of Egypt. In seven plenteous years. And let them gather all the food of those good years that come. And lay up grain under the hand of Pharaoh. And let him keep food for the cities. Just jump verse 39. This is where a man's breakthrough comes. After 12 years of misery, being transported into his destiny by people he did not like, facing situations he did not know were orchestrating themselves for his lift in 39. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God has shown ye all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Immediately, without prayer, without fasting, help me read verse 41 to read. And thou shalt be over my house. No interview. No meeting with any council member. Kings did not make stupid decisions. They met with their wise men. But the king announced. He vetoed it. Thou shalt be over my house. And according unto thy word. Shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than you. 41. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. Five minutes ago, a prisoner. Five minutes later, the prime minister. My God, how can you explain this? The people who shaved him say so we were shaving the prime minister. The people who dressed him. And imagine Pharaoh who took him to the prison. I mean Potiphar. Now he had become Lord. Imagine what Potiphar's house wife would do hear me friends god is in the business of changing the lives and the stories of men and of families it does not cost him so much all you need is the man that requires what god has given you he leads me and guides me to the place of destiny he leads me and guides me to the city up above. Your mother has a large poultry farm. There is a major hotel that is being constructed. One manifestation of destiny helpers at a recommendation. They can begin to say, Madam, begin to supply this hotel for as long as the hotel lives. See, friends, every man I know who has been blessed in any area of life got to a point in his life where he was led by destiny helpers to enter fearful mind-blowing and irrecoverable parts of destiny let's look at jesus we call him the king of kings we call him the lord of lords but let's see all the people that play different parts in the life of jesus did you know the Bible says, I don't know if I should read it. Alright, let's read it. Luke 2. Let's hurry up. Because we are going to do some prayer this night. Hallelujah. Prayer this night. I shared it with the leaders on Sunday. God began to speak to me that a breakthrough anointing is coming upon the house in a very, very, very significant way. 
and we prayed in that light. Luke 2, verse 25. Luke 2, verse 25. This is the story of Jesus. Are you there? And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was a righteous and devoted man, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord Jesus. Hold on. Look up. This guy called Simeon. Hallelujah. The Bible says God told him he would not see death. His job was to wait until he prophesies into the life of Jesus before he would die. Are you seeing? We don't hear the names of all these people in scripture. But tonight I want to show you people who took the destiny of Jesus and passed the button for him to become our savior. Hallelujah. And then he prayed and prophesied. Let's look at verse 36. So one destiny helper we see in the life of Jesus. Simeon. Number 2. 36 now. And there was one Anna. Listen to how the Bible describes her. What does he call her? One Anna. Hold on. He said one Anna. Annie. One Anna. There was one Anna. Hold on. But without that one Anna, there will be no Jesus. There will be no redemption of mankind. There was one Anna, a prophetess. The daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. He said, and she was of a great age and had lived with, with a husband seven years from her virginity. Seven years and the man died. So what was she doing with the remaining part of her life? Let's read on. And she was a widow about four score and four, 84 years. So for all that remaining time, 84 years, the Bible says, who departed not from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayer night and day. And she, coming in that instant, gave thanks likewise unto the Lord and spoke of him to all those who looked for the redemption of Israel. She was the woman who was praying that Jesus be born. Are you seeing that? There was a woman behind the scene, a destiny helper, praying and fasting at age 84 that Jesus would that that what has been prophesied let me tell you if there were no people to pray they would have killed jesus because the people would not be sensitive to angelic activities they would have killed him and there would not be redemption for mankind destiny help us we don't honor them the bible never talks about simeon again the bible never talks about anna again are you following me please destiny help us at the death of jesus the bible says listen that when jesus had carried the cross he had bled so much and the Bible says the life of the flesh is in the blood. He carried the cross to the point that this was him and the place that would bring redemption for mankind. But there was no more strength and what happened? He fell. At the point where he was falling, one black man meandered that road called Simon of Cyrene. Are you following me now? And they said, Simon, come. They didn't ask him whether he had eaten or not. They didn't ask him where he was going. They just said, Mr. Man, pick up this cross. What happened? A destiny helper. He carried the cross. Cruel men. No devil can resist your destiny helpers. If you, These were men who would not allow Jesus to drink water. But they allowed a man to carry his cross for him. And Simon helped Jesus. And so Jesus could regain some strength. The Bible says that when Jesus died, there was another strange rich man called Joseph of Arimathea. He had a virgin tomb because the prophets had, been, had prophesied that none of his bones would be broken and that he would be buried in a tomb that is virgin. So God had led one man to buy a grave. How can a man buy a tomb and keep it for his own death? He didn't even know why he bought it. Remember when Jesus wanted to come in the triumphant entry. The Bible says a man had tied a coat. He didn't tell us the man. He said go and tell the man the master had need. At once he released the coat. Are you seeing all the people that played parts? When you watch your Jesus of Nazareth. They silence those people. And so you don't even know. You just see Jesus. But without these people in his life. 
the bible talked about the wise men once didn't tell us anything about them again it talked about the shepherds they didn't tell us anything about them again now joseph of armatia the bible says joseph of armatia was an influential man it was on account of his influence so a rich man was required for the redemption of men it was the rich man that used his influence and went and said give me the body of this man let me bury if not they would have left jesus to hang on the cross there are you listening to me now we don't follow up these stories very well and they took him to a virgin tomb and they laid him there look at all the people that played roles in the life of jesus christ moses another man the bible says when they were killing hebrew children you remember his mother put him in a basket the word moses means to come out of a basket the mother put him in a basket and do you know that she put a hebrew material in the basket and pushed him how can a mother that was a sign of desperation she said let me just push him oh god guide him suddenly the water started leading moses to a place for no reason pharaoh's daughter just said i'm not taking my bath don't they have bathrooms here i will go to the stream this stream at the exact point where the baby was coming that was when she was bathing and the bible says she had the sound of a child she would have said go and kill him when she saw it she started laughing her father gives an instruction to kill people the daughter is saving the major person who they were supposed to kill destiny help us look at the drama that happens in the spirit your father gives an instruction it was really moses they were looking for but now moses was in the house and they were killing other people that was the deliverer the mother a hebrew woman she didn't have much but do you know what happened when they pushed moses the daughter got and then the maid of the mother came and suggested say do you want a nanny they said of course he went and brought Moses' mother to come and be a nanny for her own son and they paid her for it. Destiny help us. I want you to see that this is no coincidence at all. No threat. Moses grew up, he ate well, he was nourished. No joint this, no nonsense because there was an assignment waiting for him. He was in perfect shape. hallelujah have you been taking note of certain people many of us have been cheated because we have neglected these strange sets of people we live in a generation where all we are looking for is men of god could it be that after the prophecy from the men of god there are ordinary people some of you come for koinonia and you sit down close to the person who can suggest something to you that will change your life forever are you getting blessed the bible tells us that a man called saul was persecuting christians everywhere and having met with god with jesus christ on the road to damascus he said he should go to the house of who judas and stay there who is that judas we don't know he just said go and stay in his house destiny help us he stayed there three days and then they sent a man called Ananias. We heard about him once. Didn't hear about him again. And Ananias came and said, Brother Saul, Jesus whom you saw sent me, that I should lay my hands upon you, that you should be filled with the Holy Spirit and receive your sight. When that happened, he went away. The Bible says a certain time came, they met one prophet called Agabus. He came out from wherever we don't know. A man called Agabus. All his daughters were prophets. And he gave a prophecy hallelujah you read all through the bible and see several people ruth and naomi haven't lost her husband haven't lost everything the bible says that ruth told naomi say my god will be your god and my your god will be my god your people my people the bible says while they stood a man just came out from wherever called Boaz and he told the people 
We don't know who those people are. He said, as you glean, leave some of the food. Their names were not mentioned. Just leave some food so that she can go and take care. Brothers and sisters, if you miss the ministry of destiny helpers in your life, listen to me. You may never arrive your destiny no matter what kind of prophecy is given unto you. There are many women who will not get married because the person who will connect them with their life partner is not there. Someone can just tell you, come, come with us. Hallelujah. Let's go for fellowship somewhere. Pastor um, Femi, stand up. Just go and stand there. And God will orchestrate it in a way. Please sit down. Make yourself very comfortable. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now this lady sits down. She has been praying for a life partner. If you have not been praying about it, you better start praying. She has been praying. Oh God, a godly man. A man who loves and fears you. And what happens? We cannot even find a friend again who invited her. And she sat down. And while she sat down, Sam is worshipping. Now listen. Come Sam. Sam gets up. And Sam is lifting his hands. As we lift our hands in worship. As we praise your holy name. You deserve the glory. What happens? While Sam is moving left and right, doing the business of the father, suddenly, Sam finds out that he's been drawn to this role. Sam will move this way. And Sam will be drawn. And then a preacher like me will say, talk to your neighbor and say, it's your time to be blessed. And Sam turns and says, your time to be blessed. And the Holy Ghost will say, did you hear what you said? Hallelujah. A few years after they are happily married. And when you ask them what happened. They say someone. That's what they say. Someone. The someone may be in the congregation. But may not even know. That he or she was the person. Who made this happen. Are you listening to me? Destiny help us. Many people have missed out. Every time. You are entering a prophetic season of breakthrough in your life. Make sure you begin to handle with utmost respect the people that begin to come around you. Because some of them may not even be Christians. Somebody can just come drunk with beer. It may even be your loved one. And for the first time, you will say something sensible in years. You say, ah, you didn't go for fellowship this night. Then you hiss and go back. And God will say, your address as you are coming in that's when God will step into your life in a mighty way hallelujah men who do not know these principles die as failures in life and wonder oh God why are you not changing my story hallelujah this is very important I have seen this happen in my life when God showed me that this would be the venue, how it was going to happen, I knew. Listen, the next time you are trusting God for a breakthrough in your life, don't think he's just going to come by an angel flapping his wings and says, take. Men, men have been God's instrument of breakthrough. Hallelujah. Are you receiving something tonight? Am I challenging you? And then we met Prof. And Prof just came and spoke to the church once. Once. And they came till today. Since we started in March 2011, we have not had to pay one naira for this auditorium to the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. In this same Zaria, destiny help us. It's not a big thing for it's not a big deal for many of you until the day you get into positions where you will require the help of men are you listening to me 
many of us have pushed our destiny helpers away either because they do not carry forms that's the problem we have with people who segregate people we are not the rich ones we are the ones who our fathers are senators what is your father capital leave this place we are the ones who are intelligent what's your cgp 1.5 get out of here hallelujah we are the ones who are smart we attended queen's college which church did you which which school did you attend one school they have even forgotten the name leave this place we are the ones who went abroad we spent six years abroad where have you gone out from i've just been in my local government i've not even gone out leave this place when you begin to treat people that way get set for a rude shock in life because your destiny helpers will never assume forms that will attract you to them you must have a discerning grace to look beyond them some of them may be visitors every time they come to your house you know they are coming to collect your father's money but maybe that day maybe that day that day it could be some gatekeepers in your house every time you look at them Adamu, Adamu, how I say, well done, man. how are you? You are insulting the man. One day he will look and say, sorry. I saw one application. There's one newspaper here. You say, let me see. And you just find out that they need exactly what you want. And it will change your life and your story forever. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? I was told the story of a lady who had been trusting God for breakthrough. Hallelujah. And the day they called her, for a job interview in all sincerity she did not have any money the mom did not have money there and it was her neighbor who was a gate man she begged him it took a lot of humility for her to beg him guy said give me my money i said make sure you give me and i think he gave her was it 500 or 200 she transported herself got that job when she got the job they were going to lodge her in a five-star hotel for one month first where they would take her are you listening to me gave her 0.8 million to be able to get a nice house this is true life story hallelujah all that lady that lady bought a bike and came and gave the gate man the gate man was resting little did he know his breakthrough was coming she just gave him a bike he left the work immediately immediately many of you in life listen to me this is a powerful message many of you in life have neglected certain people you may stand and look at this brother and just say kite i beg jerry many of us relate with people only based on what we can get from them you need to stop that demonic attitude the day i don't need anything from you you are not my friend again the day necessity brings it suddenly ah pastor femi we need venue you are his friend if that is your attitude you will miss out on many prophetic things you can see someone the person is wearing a shoe that is not very nice thank god for the ten thousand naira one your father bought for you the person may not have what you have but he has a he knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody that can open the door that your family has every prayer point has a human being as the answer somewhere every prayer point every prayer point i tell you if you are praying for a job that job is available somewhere and it is at a platter of gold one note can change a man's destiny activating breakthroughs through the ministry of destiny help us could this be why some of us are where we are today could it be that that's why some of our family members are where we are the gentleman that always comes to your father and your father says don't tell him that i'm around could it be that that very day he came with a news that will set the family forever and the person will live and go forever we are going to be praying hallelujah we are going to be crying for a restoration of destiny help us that we have allowed to slip to our hands we are going to be praying for sensitivity many of you treat everybody bad you treat people rude you are hostile you talk to people you say that's how i am because you feel you have your world met together a day will come you will find out that what you have you don't have access to a king and it is god that will connect you there 
Hallelujah. Today by the grace of God. Many places where I go and minister. I don't know those who told them about me. They just said. We heard about you. Who were the people who popped? The Bible said it was noised abroad. That Jesus was in town. We do not know. I only will pray for those people in my secret place. That God will bless and honor them. You may never know. Never know. Sometimes we just get seeds from people. Coming into the ministry account. We don't even know the people. Could it be that one destiny helper. Shared his testimony one day. Are you listening to me? See. I am convinced. That it does not cost God a fortune. To cause a major prophetic breakthrough in your family. I was told about a man. Who had been saving to buy some cars. You know just a, a, a little car. And then one day. When he was going to buy the car. God sent him to go and. Um, greet. You know like their elder ones. Like an uncle. So when he went to go and greet the uncle. He was sitting outside. These are true stories. He was sitting outside. And then a rich man came in to see the uncle. And then he told him, he said he should wash his car for him. And he started washing the car. Of course, he sounded insulting. But then that's a big man. He was washing the car. Then when he was washing the car, the uncle didn't see him. For hours they were gisting. He washed the car, cleaned it, and sat down. He was even getting angry. When they came out, the uncle was hostile to him. He said, why have you come to see me? Don't you see that I have meetings? The, the rich man asked him, he said, what is it? He said, I just came to tell you that I gathered some small money. I want to buy a car. And then the rich man asked, just jokingly. He said, what car? He said, golf. The man laughed. He said, is that a car? He said, the next day, she'll come and meet him in his office. I'm telling you, I lie not. He gave him a brand new Toyota the next day. See, let me tell you something. It's not everything that money can do. Learn this early enough. Because many people brag with the monies of their parents. My father is a senator. My mother is a this. There are many people who were healed in Koinonia here. We still do not know who brought them. Someone referred them on the road. Told them do this, do that. And they came and they got healed. I made up my mind never to that's why i treat people with love and honor and respect you don't know who it could be a little girl like this my sister she may just look at you and pray a prayer for you and say god just asked me to touch your head and just touch your head and say bless you suddenly you see every door opening and you are like what in the world is going on hallelujah are you getting blessed Sometimes God can lead you to a meeting. You don't know the name of the ministry. You don't know the name of the man of God. You don't know the name of anybody. You don't know the ushers that brought you. All you know is that one word was declared. You carried that word. You went back. Most times, you never get to see your destiny helpers to tell them thank you. There are only few times you get to meet them. Four things that define prophetic moments of breakthrough number one the spirit of prayer grace to pray like never before number two a heart to give suddenly there is a dissociation between you and whatever it is that you have number three demonic confrontations that attempt to discourage you number four they begin to come. Destiny help us. They come as phone calls. They come as friends. They come as enemies. They come as unprofitable situations. They come as hostile. Different things. Hallelujah. I'll never forget someone who had an issue with his supervisor. Fana year student some years ago he had a very serious issue with the supervisor and the supervisor would not even look at him and somehow somehow people began to mediate another lecturer was mediating and when he finally got to call the guy in they began to talk after insulting him and shouting and doing every kind of thing he said where are you from and that was where a conversation started 
and they wouldn't end that conversation till after three hours that guy found out that there were certain opportunities he desired that that student had ways he knew his father could help out and so on and so forth he was actually a property the man the lecturer wanted to sell and then he got to find out that the boy's father was a real estate agent they exchanged numbers there and that man's life changed who have you been neglecting god is asking you a question don't look at your neighbor who have you been neglecting because they may not speak english like you because they may not they are not charismatic as you who have you been neglecting because they don't belong to your church or they don't come for koinonia or because they are not pentecostals huh because they are not filled with the holy ghost you know there's this rubbish association of religious things that go on we are the ones who pray we are the ones who fast we are the ones who we are the ones who know god god will always use the most unlikely means never forget this message could it be that your destiny helper is here in koinonia sitting close to you hallelujah when my younger brother was very small he drank paint one day took a cup of paint and drank it and he fell down there and fainted created commotion and everybody was just running helter skelter they took him to the hospital but that was an opportunity because people came to greet hallelujah and there were certain people my father wanted to see who would not respond to him they came to greet my brother and finally some opportunities was trusting god for came by i'm teaching you wisdom tonight many of you will need to call your parents and tell them you stop insulting everybody that comes it doesn't matter what they have done God can still use them to be the ladder for you to step into destiny. There are some of you here. There are people that you can never look eyeball to eyeball with. You swear and say till Jesus comes. Because of what you did to my mother. Because of what you did to my father. They gave us 130,000 to share. My, my, young, my elder brother gave me 2K. And when may God punish you for as long as I live. Calm down. Do you know that one day a door can be opened? I pray every time and I tell God there are destiny partners that are attached, destiny helpers attached to this ministry. There are destiny helpers attached to my life. There are destiny helpers attached to your life. Once again, let me use this last example and we'll pray. Two people, one stand here, one stand here. Anybody? You? My brother? Just stand there. Never forget this. The distance between you and your breakthrough is not as far as you see i don't care what it is hear me the distance between you it could be a carryover cause you are praying and saying oh god but they can wave this thing and you have done everything you know to do one day god can just send someone and they'll be discussing about you in the office and they'll say please help this person he has tried the distance between you is a destiny helper and i'm telling you it can be seconds away it can be minutes away only learn to recognize destiny helpers they will come in forms that you will not appreciate them after the grace here there are people who come and just look there are some people who just send me text messages with one scripture jokingly they did not even know I don't know them i don't have their numbers but that one scripture just gives an insight to something god has been attempting to communicate to me destiny help us we are going to cry unto god are you ready to pray god bless you rise up on your feet say the distance between me say it as loud as you can the distance between me and my breakthrough is a helper away say the distance between my family and their breakthrough is a helper away prayer point number one you are going to cry unto god and say lord 
I, I repent of people I have neglected. I, I want you to really pray and say people I have kicked out of my life. Destiny help us that would have taken me to a glorious level in my life by now. Lift your voice and pray. Kapo shatala kapanadadara. Kamprata kotosia. People who would have given me relevant information. Those who would have connected me with helpers. Lift your voice and pray. Some of our family members are struggling aimlessly because there are people who can help. Wine pressers, bakers, men who can take you to the king. It's not as hard as it seems. I am convinced it's a destiny help by way. No matter what you need, financial breakthrough, a miracle, a prophetic word, direction in your life. Say, Lord, I repent for neglecting destiny helpers. I've let them come and pass. I refuse to activate defining moments in my life. Pray on behalf of your family. <laughs> Say, Lord, for my father, for my mother, for my brothers, they would have gotten jobs by now. They would have built houses by now. They would have gotten contracts by now. Doors would have opened. That terminal disease would have left by now. My family would have been together by now. But for the neglect of destiny help us. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. And I want you to pray this with all your heart. He said I will restore to you. You are going to pray and say Lord. Let that cycle come back again in my life. Let that cycle I missed. As a result of carelessness or pride. Or arrogance or insensitivity. Lift your voice. Say Lord. Let the helpers come again. Lord. Let financial helpers come. Lord, let marital helpers come. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, let academic helpers come. The distance between you and your breakthrough is your wine presser, is your wine baker. It's not hard. Is there anything too hard for God to do? I'm telling you, in one day, God can change your story. In one day, God can change the story of your family members. Restore. Pray. Restore for my family. Restore, oh God. Opportunities that have been lost. Opportunities. Send them again, oh God. Help us of destiny. Send them again. Reactivate breakthrough. Reactivate breakthrough. Hallelujah. Let me tell you a little story. I have a friend. Listen to me. I have a friend in Abuja. This guy went to Abuja. A poor, broke person with nothing but his faith. Hallelujah. And this guy had been praying and said, Lord, change my story. Help me. This guy was crying praying people told him and you said stupid boy you got up and came to abuja no house no car no nothing this guy was praying and one day it always happens one day you don't even know that's why you must be prepared he was just sitting down and a friend called him he said where are you he said come quick this guy just ran and he entered the room and he saw a big man and some people were talking and he said, I wanted to involve you because God asked me to bless you. Ah. And he sat down and the rich man was going to buy a plot of, a, buy some plots of land. 720 million. 720 million. And 10% goes to the agents. So they brought him. This guy became a millionaire overnight. He didn't do anything. 
they just brought him and counted the number of people the 10% agency fee was what changed his life yet there are many tongue talking estate agents who have been in Abuja since 1990 since 1999 praying and running with complimentary cards this guy was wearing palms he wasn't wearing a suit palms and his life changed overnight brothers and sisters if you ever forget anything this night remember that your prayer request is in the hands of a man it takes God who is the father of spirits to connect the lines and that's going to be our next prayer point you're going to say Lord by the instrument of the prophetic I call forth they that have been destined to take me to the next level to take my family make sure you are praying Lord Lord prophetically pray those who will open doors of jobs doors of marriages doors of ministry doors of anointings doors of favor doors of lifting doors of success doors of increase doors of breakthrough make sure you are praying pray it with all your heart your family story can change you have been praying and fasting could this be the message could this be the message pray say lord whether in lagos or abuja or kano or zamfara the united states the caribbean by the prophetic power of the spirit let there be a connection orchestrate a meeting let there be a meeting pray Pray. God wants to take you from this level to another. It's a year of supernatural exploits. Exploits by the Spirit. Your story can change. Activate defining moments. Activate breakthrough in your life. Come on, prophesy. I call them. They are coming into my life from the north, the east, the south. I pray for E and I. Destiny help us are coming. We receive them. We receive them. We receive them. We receive them. Hallelujah. Let me give you one little story. Look at me. When Professor Madi was the Vice Chancellor of Amadou Bello University, many of you did not meet him. There was a gentleman who did very well, but he did not get admission. Hallelujah. And the guy just went, for reasons he could not explain, he went and sat down near the Senate in the night. And Professor Madi had the culture of walking into students' hostels, walking around just to see what is going on. And when he walked, he saw the gentleman and he called him. He said, why are you sitting down here? He said, sir, look at my WIAC result. Look at everything. But my catchment area is not there and they didn't give me admission. He said, you are such a brilliant boy. Do you know what he told him? He said, go home and pack your load and come back. When he came back, they had printed his, admi his admission letter. This is true. It's a confirmed story. Hallelujah. I know about a student who had been victimized for years till he was in 300 level. Whatever it is that happened, either his name or his matriculation number clashed. And what this guy was seeing was not his real CGPA. This guy would work so hard, but when the exams come out, he would not be it. And then one day, someone just came in and for whatever reason, the person decided to start cross-checking things. The next thing, they put on the notice board that they wanted to see him. When they called him, they said he should go and bring his results and his courses that he registered. Do you know, true life story, when they, this guy was uh, maybe around 1.7 something, by the time they corrected everything, he was supposed to be in 2-1. In all sincerity. My cousin, my cousin was a student in this school. 
My cousin was a student in this school. He wrote a major exam that he got A. And when the result came out, they gave him F. This guy, they didn't know. He knew that he had, he had read. But you see, sometimes, even when you have the evidence, you don't have access to the king. There are many of us that have evidences that would wipe our night time. But that access to the king. Hallelujah. And one day God raised a visiting prophet who just came and he just complained and showed him everything. The man took on the case by himself until they rectified it. Look at me for a moment. What do you expect God to do in your life and in your family? It's in the hands of someone. It's in the hands of someone. That breakthrough is in the hands of someone. A house to complete for your loved ones to go to school. Let me tell you, no matter what it is, expand your mind tonight. There are men who are carriers of miracles. They don't even know. There are some of you that your loved ones need some jobs. They have been suffering. You know that they want to change where they are working or they don't even have a job. They are prayed. They are applying CV after CV. If it is destiny helpers, they will accelerate your path. You will jump protocols. We are going to pray. Say, Lord, I receive discernment to see these people when they come into my life. Lift up your voice and pray. It takes discernment. It takes discernment. It takes discernment. Say, Lord, let me discern. They may not be my tribe. They may not be my friends. They may be the enemies of our family. But Lord, grace to discern when you are about to use them to change our story. Hallelujah. Final prayer point. Now you're going to pray and speak over your life and tell yourself you are breaking through and breaking forth on the left and right. Don't keep quiet, please. Don't keep quiet. Prophesy. I break through from the left, the right, the east, the west. Oh, hallelujah. I activate breakthroughs. I establish it in the name of Jesus by the spirit of prayer I contend against every power of darkness come on pray pray against every satanic force pray against every power of darkness that wants to attempt to abort your breakthrough God wants you to smile God wants you to smile God wants you to smile he wants to encourage you. He wants your life to be fruitful. Satan get lost. Be lifted all ye gates. Let the family of Koinonia receive breakthroughs. I prophesy breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. Breakthrough. Financial breakthrough. Marital breakthrough. Family breakthrough academic breakthrough spiritual breakthrough breakthrough in your job let your family members smile i provoke it from the realm of the spirit i provoke it from the heavens i activate the angelic i activate the angelic let angels begin to move to every family let angels begin to move over your academic angels move over your finances angels move over your family angels move i activate the operation of angels contend with the powers in the heavens and release breakthroughs for god's people let the angelic contend with the powers that delay that stop people from entering their prophetic breakthrough 
I release breakthroughs. I release breakthroughs. I release breakthrough. I speak it in your life. I send an anointing into your life. A breaker anointing. A breakthrough anointing. I send it into your life. I send it into your academics. I send it into your family. I send it into your finances. Those you do not know. I cause them to arise and help you. I cause them to arise and help you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands everybody. Everywhere your gift is needed. I command them to begin to talk about you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I activate breakthrough for you. In the name of Jesus. Everywhere your gift is needed. Whoever needs your gift in Nigeria. I stand as a servant of God. I command a connection in the realm of the spirit beginning from tonight 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 in the name of jesus hallelujah i pray for every one of your family members looking for a job my god and my king tonight let testimonies rise from this message no matter how long tonight let someone talk to somebody Talk to somebody and talk to somebody and connect them for breakthrough in the name of Jesus. For your family members, I command help us, those who will connect them to projects and contracts and opportunities. Yes, they don't merit it, but by the power of destiny, help us. I connect them to the breakthrough for the next level. In the name of Jesus. Where you have cried academically, I connect you to help us. Professors who will help you. Admin staffs who will help you. Admin staff who will help you. Members in the Senate who will help you. Whether for accommodation, whether for your result, whether for missing script, whether for your wayek, whatever it is in the name of Jesus as the Senate and the faculty board members meet over your results and your performance may a strange man enter that meeting and advocate for you in the name of Jesus anywhere they want to turn down your family members or turn down anything let a strange man come we don't want to know the name let a strange call come let a strange connection come i prophesy it i release it to you in the name of jesus i release testimonies 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 from this breakthrough experience beginning from tonight i command calls from destiny help us calls from destiny help us calls from destiny help us connections with destiny help us they will travel and come and meet you you will meet them on the street they will come to your homes in the name of jesus you will see them in your dreams god will connect you for every one of your family members that is supposed to be married and they are not married the husbands or the wives they are not in space they are here on earth lord we pray tonight as a family by the power that is in the name of the resurrected christ i pray let help us lead partners to their mates in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus we command supernatural marital connections in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we bind every devil we bind every power that attempts to cause delay we set them free from every curse and every yoke of bondage be released in the name of jesus Hallelujah. the ministry of destiny help us all through this week i want you to pray cry out and say lord bring them I believe you will hear fearful testimonies 
in this place as a result tonight i've shown you a very mighty secret don't forget it too soon hold it every time you are praying over something the answer is in the hands of another person stop beating about the bush every man and every authority can answer when God calls yours is just to pray that God will connect you hallelujah you're here you're not born again now is the time for you to have an experience with the Lord Jesus or you've given your heart to Jesus this is the greatest of all breakthroughs that you start a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and tonight let this be that night where you will begin a new walk with the Lord I want to give you an opportunity everybody keep standing you're here and you've not given your heart to the Lord or you've given your heart to the Lord once but you found yourself derailing in the path of destiny I like you to leave your seat and come out quickly I want to pray with you is there any kind of person like that hallelujah please don't be afraid you need to come out leave your seat and come I appreciate them someone is coming I appreciate them don't remain in your seat I appreciate them another brother is coming they are coming I appreciate them this is the beginning of breakthroughs keep coming keep coming Jesus is calling enough is enough keep appreciating them they are coming thank you for coming Lord we celebrate you Keep coming, brother. God bless you. God bless you. I see you, sister. God bless you. God bless you. God bless as many of you who are coming. It's the beginning of a new journey. It's the beginning of a new journey. No devil will hold you. No devil will keep you. My sister, God bless you. Keep coming. Keep coming. This is why God brought you tonight. Keep coming. The Lord bless you. No matter what the challenge is, keep coming. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. The greatest way to activate breakthroughs in your life and to secure a life both in this realm and in the life to come is to give Jesus your heart. No one condemns you. But tonight we want you to start a real journey. I believe that the Holy Spirit brought you out by himself. And I salute you for the courage. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand and pray after me, everyone standing. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you tonight unable to help myself I believe that Jesus is Lord over my life I confess my sins and I declare that Jesus is Lord I receive eternal life into my spirit from today I'm born again forward ever backward never Holy Spirit come and live in me make me a great tool in the hands of the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus now let me pray for you father preserve these ones you brought them out by your spirit preserve them I pray that their salvation will last it will be genuine and Lord that they will begin to grow from grace to grace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I curse every devil of darkness that will want you to move back into whatever you were doing before you came to the Lord let this be a new beginning for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ thank you so much for coming I want you to follow the ushers quickly they will have your details and tomorrow you will be meeting with Pastor Jakes by 7pm oh that will not be possible Monday on Monday Monday 7pm we will remind you Monday 7pm you will meet at chapel and we will follow you please appreciate them appreciate them thank you sister thank you brother appreciate them thank you so much for coming very quickly you're worshiping with us for the first time i like you to leave your seat and run out here quickly we have a blessing and a prophecy for you if you're worshiping with us appreciate them they are coming come on run like you know your destiny is opening up in a new and glorious way god bless you thank you for coming you'll never be the same i assure you god brought you here jesus is in this place I appreciate them can you celebrate what god is doing thank you thank you sisters thank you You'll never be the same. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is Koinonia. Meeting put together by Eternity Network International. How many of you were blessed tonight? You'll never be the same again. In the name of Jesus. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we prophesy breakthrough. Lord, as a token, give them major breakthroughs in their lives. 
let them know that God is at work in this place in the name of Jesus we bless you with a fresh hunger for God we bless you with a fresh hunger beyond the breakthroughs that you will receive a fresh hunger for the things of the spirit a fresh hunger for the presence of the Lord whatever challenge you came here with is swallowed up tonight in the name of Jesus go and experience unlimited breakthroughs by the hands of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus thank you once again for coming dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline 